Hi guys, and welcome to my New Year's uh, live stream. Uh, come on, game. Image, please. There we go. I don't know why that always takes so long. Uh, Mad Max, uh, Twitch, 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 uh, Tarfu, Winch, David, Ryan, Pawn, the guy from Japan whose name I can't pronounce, Andrew, Xperior, Korea, Jaden, Olaf, uh, Drews, Black, Farmer, uh, who else? Jaden, uh, Majong, Obi, DM Alexandru, and everyone else who said thank you so much for being here on. Did I say Christmas Eve? I obviously mean New Year's Eve. Look, I even added some. Because, yeah, of course, a bow tie. What else? It's it's after all New Year's Eve. Not that I cared too much, to be honest, because... What a fucking year this has been. Uh, I'm glad it's finally over. Here in Sweden, here in Stockholm, we have six hours left before we're out of this mess of 2020. Worst year in the 21st century, for sure. Um, hopefully, definitely, next year will be better. Even if it's going to take a while. I mean, it's not going to be better tomorrow, or the month after, or the quarter after. It's probably going to be the second half or something. Ugh. But we're here. It's New Year's Eve, and I'm so happy to see that at least some of you are here spending some time with me. On my way to Moron. We are currently just outside of Posnan. Uh, go back and see where we started. Uh, Jaden, you're in Australia. So, Happy New Year to you. As you say, you're already... Is it only four years? Four years? Four hours into it? I thought it was more. Uh, New Zealand, I think, is six hours into it. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but five, six hours. Uh... Banjo, <laughs> didn't expect to see you here, uh, but again, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not feeling that much better, to be honest. Uh, let's talk about the hall to begin with. Uh, Vladivostok is where we started. We've hauled 15,000 kilometers so far, all the way to Poznan. And tonight it's going to be a pretty easy uh, haul down to Calais. It's probably going to take us an hour, maybe an hour and a half, not more. Which means that we will be in uh, San Gregorio very soon and maybe make it at least up to Rio, Colorado tonight. Um, let's see uh, if we can fire the old girl up. There she is. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I should stop and do some repairs. 18% to the truck there is mainly tire wear. So I'm not worried about it, but it does look good when you look at it. Of course, the, the trailer damage, can't do anything about that. Uh, so, uh, but the truck, let's see if we can find something on the way. I'll, I will stop if it's somewhere close. <laughs> uh, true fact Richard I'm actually in between the two breasts right now that is no one can dispute that it's it's a fact I'm in between the two breasts right now um, <laughs> and I'm, I guess my truck has been parked in between the two breasts the entire night so yeah <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, for the record, there is one breast in, in France and there's another one there just in, um, in, is it Poland? Is that other breast, the, the one to the, to the left or to the east? Is that in Poland? No, it's not in Poland, is it? Anyway. <laughs> Oh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> Belarus, thank you, Pinky, Punkito, uh, that's the other one. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, tradition says that we will have a crash within the first 10 minutes of the live stream. That's how it usually works. Hopefully not tonight. Uh, it 
would feel kind of great going into the new year without any more crashes. There's been enough of them. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. So yeah, it's New Year and here in Sweden, six hours to go. Uh, some of you are already there. If Kalia shows up, it's already the 1st of January. Uh, in New Zealand, it's the 1st of January. In Australia, it's the 1st of January. In, in quite a few countries already. So, Happy New Year to all those who already made it into 2021. Uh, Jets, Alex, uh, Pavan, and everyone else who also joined. Thank you so much for being here. Honest to God, I didn't expect... There's not a ton of people here today, but I, I honestly didn't expect as many as we're currently seeing. 63 on on YouTube and another 23 on on, uh, on Twitch. That's... What was that? 87? I honestly didn't expect even half of that. It is, after all, Christmas Eve, and although I'm staying very isolated i decided to go outside for a walk earlier today a slow one by the way because breathing is a little bit heavy but i saw a ton of people preparing for parties and honest to god stay away from parties tonight everyone Uh, Banjo, that is because this is a game on the 1 to 19 scale, so uh, you have Stockholm in there, um, and it's just a 2 minute drive to, uh, 3 minutes perhaps, drive to Uppsala. That's the scale of things. Did I say Christmas Eve again? I'm, I guess I'm gonna say that a lot tonight. I do mean, for the entire evening, I will mean New Year's Eve when I say Christmas Eve. <laughs> uh, maybe I haven't been drinking enough. Uh, maybe, um, cheers, more water. It is still water. Ah, I need more of that. As some of you might have noticed, I didn't do a live stream at 1 p.m. as I was hoping I would do. The reason is, uh, just like yesterday, lots of fever in the morning, gradually less and less fever during the day. Right now I don't have any fever, maybe a little bit, but it's definitely not much now. I'm okay. Uh, and voice is kind of working, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, what is 1 to 19 scale and 1 to 1 scale, uh, Prince? Well, uh, every meter in game is 19 meters IRL, which means that you can't you can't add everything you have in the real world on the 1 to 19 scale. So for every one meter you have of roads uh, in this game, you have another 18 meters or so that isn't going to be there from from the real world. So, um, only 5% of the actual roads are here, so to speak. Ouch! <laughs> Absurd is already in 2021. Well, Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Uh, Anvar, uh, thank you very, very much for subscribing to me on Twitch. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. And to those of you who have uh, started following me as well on Twitch, thank you very much for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, my goal for 2021 is, I don't know, uh, just make it through the year. Uh, look at that, we're in Germany. That was quick. Uh, I don't expect the first half of 2021 to be much better than 2020 has been, to be honest. Uh, but let's hope the second half of 2021 will be better. 
Uh, we don't have snow anders. Uh, Xperior, I have prepared for Skål. No, I have not. I will not uh, share with anyone other than you guys. Uh, I probably have COVID-19. I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to take a test today, but it turns out they're not delivering tests today, probably because it is New Year's Eve. Uh, so, um, and besides, they do say that they do deliver them bit, bit within 48 hours. Uh, so, I'll have one tomorrow then, I guess. Um, so, I will not have the results tomorrow as I was hoping for. That'll be delayed until the 2nd of January instead, but it's, it's okay. Um, Pomazania has been... Oh, that's right. Pomazania has been released. It's New Year's Eve. I forgot. Yes, it's out, finally, and I need to update my link to uh, in the video description for my Pomazania video uh, because you can't find it in, in there yet. I'll do that. I'll try to make it this year. Uh, maybe it have to go. Maybe it's gonna have to wait until next year before I update the link. But I will do that as soon as I can. <coughs> Star Citizen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, one thing I need to get out of my system. From here on out, I will. Um, I will not be disrespectful and call the world's greatest Formula 1 driver uh, just Lewis Hamilton. I will call him Sir Lewis Hamilton. He have now been knighted. So it's Sir Hamilton. Uh, brilliant stuff. Well deserved. Um, so um, excellent going there, Queenie. She did a great job on that one. Hi, Devin. You're also in 2021 already. Good for you. Uh, no, Richard, it's completely different from uh, Promzona. It has nothing to do with Promzona. Promzona is, I'm going to say, a Polish uh, grand utopia. Uh, how many hours will we live stream today, Prince? Uh, a, a part of me would love to stream for six hours. I've never streamed into a new year before, and I probably will never will do it again either. Um, but I'm not sure my body is up to it. Uh, I'm still pretty sure I have COVID-19, so... Mm. Uh, I'm gonna be happy with three hours, but if I still feel okay in three hours, I will stretch it, and maybe, just maybe we could do it for, for six hours. Absurd, I haven't been knighted yet. <laughs> so, so uh, just Wombat works. Doesn't even have to be Mr. Definitely not Sir. <laughs> uh, Twitch Twatch, I thought you were here when we started the live stream. And I did show you the map. I will show it again. It's just that I showed it to you in less than 10 minutes ago. Um... Let's hold for a bit and I'll show it to you again. Sean Michaels, you just bought the game. Congratulations. Good job there. Now you need to get all the map DLCs. <laughs> and then you can start adding map mods as well. Um, pro mods being the first and obvious one, of course. Grand Utopia. Um, Pomazania. <laughs> I'm going to add that one to my list of map mods you need to try out. Uh, yes, Dokus, that is what I'm hoping as well, that we will see the end. Well, actually, we won't see the end to uh, to Corona ever, I guess. But it will not be a threat the way it has been once we have the vaccine. If I understand it correctly, we actually see from time to time people getting the good old uh, Spanish flu still. But today it's not a big problem anymore. Uh, because we have uh, uh, treatments for it. 
You cannot add Pomezania to any map combo, it's a standalone map. Ah, you have to get your dinner to its torch. Uh, well, I will... God damn it! Thank you. Uh, where was I? Before he almost crashed into me. There he is again. Kenneth, you got a Logitech G29? Awesome. Good for you, buddy. I'm very happy to see you have that. And yeah, I'm. you will not regret it. If I've been to Munich, yes, I have. I have been to Munich uh, many years ago. Uh, why? Oh, that's right. I was there to uh, to meet a German company make, you know, that makes VPN solutions, uh, VPN systems. But it's been quite a few years since I was there. Uh, Richard, that's that's a common problem, really. Uh, doing maps and not being able to do 100% of them. It's... Uh, never mind. <laughs> what will I have? I have a Logitech G25 currently. But uh, I'm not for much longer. Uh, I've been holding on to this one and saying that the Logitech G27 is the is an even better wheel than the Logitech 25 I have now. And I've, um, previously said that I really want a G27 instead, but I'm gonna drop that completely now because I have a. The, the reason I've said it is because of the shifter mainly, but I'm getting a custom-made shifter. <laughs> God, I can't stop talking about that. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I'm getting a custom-made uh, shifter, uh, which basically means that I I really don't care about the steering wheel, uh, the shifter that comes with any steering wheels anymore. Um, so, uh, yeah, I have a G25. It's okay. I will not be using it for much longer. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> absurd. Well, I'm not older, so you still don't have to call me sir. Hanya, <laughs> uh, Hanya Junior, Hanya Junior, Chisenga. Shisenga sounds much easier to pronounce. Shisenga, hi, <laughs> and welcome. Oh, that looks... Now I'm getting kind of hungry. Uh, you saw a combo with MHA... Uh, Ross and Promzona, well, that, I guess that's doable. Uh, I will say though, kudos to those who still try creating map combos using MHA Pro. It's, it's notoriously difficult, actually. But uh, I guess as long as the map mods are more or less outside of uh, MHA territory, which is the base map and the DLCs, I, I'm guessing it's okay. Uh, Cheeky, thank you very much for hosting my stream with six uh, viewers. Thank you very much. What do you mean, Olaf, you can't be here the entire evening? You have any... anywhere else to be? Uh, thank you so much for being a Tartful and uh, Happy New Year to you. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Stay away from others <laughs> for as much as you can. <laughs> uh, 
You're sneaky, Olaf. You're gonna be here but on your phone the entire evening. Wow. Your family's gonna love you for that. <laughs> I have... Uh, uh, how I am doing today? Uh, I'm I'm okay. Uh, couldn't do the one o'clock live stream that I was kind of hoping for. Again, I'm not surprised. Um, fever is worse in the morning, getting better and better during the day, and in the evening it's it's almost completely okay. Uh, Murphy, we're not hauling. Uh, well, does it look like IRL? Does it really? Maybe it does. <laughs> anyway, this is unfortunately not IRL. Well, um, fortunately, it isn't IRL. Because if this was IRL and we were heading to Calais... <sighs> you really, really don't want to go to a Calais IRL right now. <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah. So I hope most of you, all of you perhaps even, are staying at home tonight. Not going to parties. Not mainly because I wanted to stay here. Obviously I wanted to stay here, but... Uh, stay safe is priority one. So... Try to avoid parties tonight, people. Colored Lonely, you have a party? <laughs> Just wear a face mask at least. <laughs> uh, Sean Michaels, I hope your um, neighborhood is gonna be fireworks free for the sake of your dog. Uh, this is a horrible evening for for all animals, actually. Oh, there's one. There we go. Uh, yeah, thank you, Korea. Uh, actually, that's number 10 tonight, I think, who is following me on Twitch tonight, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, it's just that... Um, Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm. There we go, and another one, Shiki. Thank you very much. It's just it's, it's getting so repetitive to say it every single time. So. <laughs> oh, your dog hides under the blankets. Poor thing. Honestly, it's. Uh, I don't have a dog myself, or any animals for that matter. My parents have a dog, and uh, New Year's Eve is never fun for dogs. I guess it's probably the same for all animals. Uh, but, um, yeah. Awesome, Eagle. I'm, I'm, I didn't know that dogs actually did enjoy it sometimes. <coughs> I don't have a wombat, I have a duck. <laughs> Fireworks costs a lot of money here in Sweden too. People don't care. And honestly, I used to buy fireworks too. Up until maybe maybe five years ago. I used to buy it because my kids would enjoy it when they were small, young. These they don't they don't care about it anymore, so we we, we just stopped buying it. Um they're not even that interested in, in, in watching fireworks anymore. Uh, real truck console with wheel? Fred, well, you could always buy a cab. And, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 Arduinos, perhaps. 
<laughs> and created it yourself. I'm not aware of any real truck consoles with wheels. I mean, you're, you're talking about an entire set of it with buttons and everything. I, I'm not aware of anything like that, that you can buy off, it, off the shelf. A uh, guy from Japan whose name I can never seem to be able to remember. Uh, good evening to you, sir, and Happy New Year. Button boxes, of course. Uh, Farmer, Happy New Year to you, and uh, enjoy your dinner. Thank you for being here, buddy. There are some bottom boxes, and um, there is one in the making for me as well. I'm really looking forward to getting that button box uh, delivered. There will be a ton of pictures uh, when the button box and the shifter arrives, which they will probably around mid-February. Uh, the plan is that they will be shipped to me from the United States uh, mid-January, and I'm guessing it's going to take probably at least a couple of weeks before they arrive, so... Um, there it is. It's 2 in the morning in Japan. On the 1st of January. So, is the new year any better than the old one? <laughs> no? <laughs> Maybe not yet. A complete cab would be awesome. Uh, it's New Year not only in Korea and Japan, uh, New Zealand, Australia, of course. I think Australia is the first one. Uh, and probably a few other countries as well. You know what? We've almost, almost done half an hour already, so let's have a look at the map. Ah, ah, there's where we are. Uh, still in Germany, of course. Just outside Hanover, Dortmund next, then Cologne, Liege. That's France. Uh, no, that's not France yet. Here's France, Lille, and Calais. And then off to St. Gregorio. So I guess it's not even going to take us an hour as I thought it would, an hour, I said, an hour to an hour and a half to get to Calais. It's, it's only going to take us another, well, not even tw not even 30 minutes to get there. Whoa! Looks like uh, that was a bug that um, I brought with me from Eastern Express. Uh, which I guess means that we will see more of that even on EAA, but not a lot of it. I think we have seen that tiny little problem there like three, two or three times prior to this. So uh, not a big issue, but annoying. I like these, uh, what are they called, these Chinese, uh, uh, these Chinese uh, uh, light balloons, no, uh, looks like a, looks like a small balloon and you put a light on underneath it and, and it goes up in the air. I can't remember what they're called, uh, but they look very nice and we do buy a few of those for New Year's Eve every year, me and the kids. Well, not this year then, because they're with their mothers this year, but... Lanterns, thank you, thank you. Is it Lampions or Lanterns? Anyway, Lampions, Lanterns, whatever. You know what I mean, evidently. I really enjoy those. Yeah, those Chinese Lanterns, yes. Uh, I really like those. Uh, very nice to uh, to send those up. Uh, but fireworks, I should just ban them all. 
and it doesn't look that nice on on the first of January when they have all those uh, fireworks spread all over the place. Uh, yes, absolutely. We can take a look at the truck. Here it is. My RJL Scania T730. What a beauty. The roads in Germany are good, Prince. I totally agree. Which is one of the reasons I really don't enjoy hauling in, in Germany. Because... This is kind of boring in my book. Uh, yes, Danny, and if you want the torpedo, Scania torpedo, it's made by RJL, that's why I said RJL Scania T. Uh, there's a link to it in the video description. Why I'm driving in the middle lane? Uh, old habits. Uh, I could, of course, use the right lane instead. Happy? <laughs> Cheers! Here in Sweden too, it's five and a half hours left till we are in 2021. Let's see. Uh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, New Year celebration 2021. It's, it's, it's just gonna be a summary of, of the entire year. Uh, it, it's gonna be just a pile of total misery the entire new year's eve of 2020 uh just like the rest of the year has been uh sure germany is beautiful but i like horrible roads and you can't find any of those here in germany so <laughs> to me driving here is kind of boring but it won't be for long because in the next 15 minutes or so, we will reach Argentine. Unless the ferry sinks, of course. Hopefully not. At, are you kidding me? A 10,000 pound fine? If you have a congregation? Holy... S no party in the world is... It's worth ten thousand pounds. That's a lot of money. Oh, looks like I need to refuel. Oops. Is that the same? No, it's another one. I thought that was a BMW, but it was a Volkswagen. It's only he. Happy New Year to you. Are you there yet? We still have another five and a half hours to go. But maybe it's already a new year for you. Uh, the speed I'm doing uh, just below 80. As you should.
Because if you speed more than that, you could have accident like this one. Ouch. Uh, Tesla, we should be in South America in 15 minutes or so. I'm not using any Jassy Cats mods uh, for this. I'm trying to keep my number of mods I use for a haul like this down to the bare minimum. So there's not a, there's not a lot to it really. I too do 90 if the speed limit is 90, but it is 80, so um, I'm sticking to the speed limit. Uh, yes, there's absolutely country bowlers in game, Sean, but uh, this is. Currently, we're holding in the EU, so you don't have borders there. Yeah, nothing personal, Prince, but please don't comb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and especially, please don't come to Sweden. This is, I mean... In European news, and uh, just as much here in Sweden as most over the place, we're making well, not fun, but uh, we're horrified about the situation in the United States and their handling of COVID 19. As I said yesterday, they have one uh, dead per 1,000, but that's exactly the same as we have here in Sweden. So, Sweden isn't doing any better than the United States are. Sweden and US are the two countries in the world that are making the worst out of this. Uh, only also, I'm doing uh, just as good slash bad as I was feeling yesterday. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, but it's not great. Yeah, we've been lucky with the sunsets so far, I must say. Every one of them has been, honestly, have been very, very beautiful. Yeah, and then we have new corona strains, but fortunately they seem to be... I don't know, compatible with the uh, virus, uh, sorry, the uh, the vaccine, so. But of course, I am a bit worried about a new strain of, of COVID-19 coming out that is, that the vaccine doesn't work on. Hopefully that won't happen. Yeah, Sean Michaels. Going to Europe next year, <clears throat> maybe for the second half of next year then. Uh, Banjo, thank you for being here. Happy New Year to you. Got nytt år. And uh, well, maybe, maybe I'll see you again later tonight. Hopefully I'll see you next year at least. I really need to stop and refuel. <laughs> Let me have a quick look at the map. <laughs> uh, how bad? It okay, it's not that bad. Uh, we will definitely stop over there and refuel. Evening, Toby. Uh, as I've said a couple of times now, it's uh, it's basically the same as yesterday. I couldn't do the one o'clock live stream. Uh, but I'm here now. Hi, runner. Uh, <clears throat> I'm okay with driving at night. It's the problem is that I'm gonna say you don't like me driving at night. <laughs> it's kind of boring to watch, isn't it? If it's just pitch black. Uh, the only time I don't like driving at night is when the roads are twisty 
and I have a wide or very long trailer cargo behind me. Uh, because you can't see anything, but using something like this is, is not a problem, really. But it is kind of boring, I guess, uh, watching a live stream of someone driving when you literally can't see anything. It is heavy behind me, but it's it's. Uh, is that is, are those on fire? Whoops! <clears throat> Looks like those house, uh, houses are on fire, but is it fog? Perhaps could be fog. And there's the gas station. Uh, Eric Lokoman, and what I'll do. T tonight on the f 31st of January. I'm doing it already, dude. ETS 2 and... Oh, come on. This is what I'm gonna do. Not necessarily live, but it feels like... What else are you gonna do on the 20 31st of, of December 2020? Well, I've turned off the fatigue thingy because, uh, well, it's just, I think it's just annoying. So let's see if we can stop over here and uh, sleep for the night. Come on. There we go. And we're getting some rests. So it's probably 4 in the morning, 4.30. Okay, fine. We'll have daylight in uh, 30 minutes. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, Twitch, I'm not using any uh, additional mods for uh, for real-life gas stations. This is just EAA and Eastern Express, and they do include some gas stations. Uh, so, that's it. How much I'll spend on fuel? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, let's see when we get to our destination. We'll see how much fuel we have spent. It's it's gonna be a few thousand liters uh, I can't say how many thousand it's going to be but it's gonna be a lot uh, Runner yes, this is the uh, torpedo by RJL Oh god, there it is. Zill 130. I'm not worthy. <laughs> Love your name, dude. Zill 130. <laughs> um. Hi, Quentin. Uh, sound mods. Uh, yes, I'm using the uh, sound mod. Uh, but not for any truck or so. Just for the um, environment. Uh, Joshua, I have 96 profiles. There's no way I'm going to uh, boost them n naturally. I don't use any naturally aspirated profiles. I'm using a turbo. Uh, so. Uh, how many hours to go? Uh, are we talking IRL? 
IRL, it's probably going to be at least uh, 14, 15 hours more, at least. Isn't that the same all over the world, Richard? Diesel being more expensive than uh, petrol? Oh, the thing under my beard. A bow tie. It's New Year's Eve. You have to dress up, you know. <laughs> See, there it is. My bow tie. Wow. In Austria, diesel is cheaper. While here in Sweden, it's more expensive. Thank you, Toby. I appreciate it. One tries his best, of course, to dress up properly for New Year's Eve, but it is kind of itchy. Mm. Hi, gaming. Uh, Haze, we're hauling um, 47 tons of... Uh, it's, no, not there. The, there it is. Uh, 47 tons of Transformer. Total weight of the entire thing, including truck and trailer, is 84 tons. I think Carla is done celebrating. It's uh, 7 in the morning on January 1st there, so I, I think she's done celebrating. <laughs> Ouch. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna... There we go. Ah. It was getting annoying. Celebration is complete. God, it feels good not to have that thing around my neck. <laughs> Very funny experience. Here I'm doing my best to dress up for the night, and, and, and that's the thank you give me. <laughs> uh, no, I will not shoot any fireworks. Why should I? Uh, I'm not. I'm not celebrating together with anyone. I suspect I have COVID-19, so I'm isolating myself from everyone. Uh, I don't enjoy fireworks really I, I just think it's I guess I'm getting kind of grumpy as I'm getting older but it's really just annoying uh, with those fireworks I am grumpy. <laughs> yeah, I'm known for being very grumpy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing you should do. I mean, Write down all your wishes for next year and uh, attach them to a rocket and fire it into the sky and watch it explode with all your dreams. <laughs> Hope is a waste of time. <laughs> if you don't have any hopes, you will never be disappointed about anything. <laughs>
Uh, what are my hopes for 2021? <sighs> you know, honestly, I don't really have any hopes for 2021 other than maybe... <sighs> it would be nice to be able to go out and do something some of the things we did in 2019 again that would be nice but mm. other than that i can't really say that i have a lot of hopes for next year Your hope for 2021 is to hope that you have a hope. Well, don't get your hopes up. If uh, there were no internet when you were young either, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <coughs> Legit Rob, I, I think most of us uh, belongs in the non-critical group, so I guess. And, and that's kind of why I'm not really having any big hopes for next year, because none of us, probably none of us here tonight will have the vaccine until at best sometime during the summer. So maybe the fall of 2021 will be nice. Uh, but but that's gonna be way past summer, so it's not like we're gonna be able to go anywhere anyway. So, might just as well just hate 2021 too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, DH <the> plan. <laughs> Hi, Rowan. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's it's so difficult to, to talk about next year and feeling that oh we're gonna do a lot of great things next year because it honestly doesn't feel like we're gonna be able to do a lot of great things next next year. Other than you know what, let's talk about the future of the game instead. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close to Calais. Um, it's not gonna be for long now before we are in Argentine instead. Uh, runner, is allergies a problem regard with the vaccine? I have not heard anything about that, and I have allergies too, a lot of them. No, DH Bland, 2021 does not have to be any better than 2020. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> I'm very, very certain of that, but it's not going to be like 2019, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Alex, no, I do not think that EAA is worth combining with Eurasia. Uh, the thing I like about European maps is that they are, well, at least those that I traditionally have combined in my Eurasia map combos, they're all 1 to 19 scale, they are more or less uh, located in the correct locations uh, and all of that. EAA is... Uh, located in the middle of North Sea, it's not even remotely close to being in the correct location. And, and be besides, it's a completely different continent with different, completely different types of trucks, cars. It's way better off being a uh, a standalone map instead. Why would I want to use new mirrors on an old truck? I'm very happy having old mirrors on an old truck. Uh, 
Uh, my wheel Bartolome is a Logitech G25. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, Valhalla, yeah, similar to what I'm doing then, I guess, uh, on this profile, just EAA and EE on the same profile. That, that kind of works for me. Uh, K said Cornell, uh, EAA, they started working on that long before even ETS2 came out. I think aiding. Wheels of Steel was when they started working on EAA. And so when ETS2 came out, <clears throat> it took another, what was it, six years before ATS came out. So ATS has only been around since, since 2016. And so uh, they just kept on uh, adding more to EAA on, on ETS as they had for the last four years prior to that. Uh, so we will never see EAA moving over to ATS uh, unless, I guess, someone creates a porting tool for uh, map mods. But it's not like it's going to be located in South America then. It's probably going to be located just like it is now, just uh, west of the mainland of on ATS then, USA. If I've been to the uh, Scania test track, uh, sort of Joshua, because it's located in Södertälje, and I've been to Södertälje, I've been to the uh, to the uh, uh, Scania Porten as well, but I haven't been to the test track per se. Well I don't think <clears throat> I don't think anyone should die just because they refuse vaccines, but I do uh, kinda agree. Uh, it, it should be uh, well you can't force people to take a vaccine. It's it's complicated. But they are they are a danger to others if they don't take the vaccine. Hi Patrick. Yeah, sure, we've all been there in the simulator. I think my, the question was have I been there IRL because I live just half an hour from well, I guess from the, the test track as well. Ouch. Uh, good evening, Rodrigo. And Patrick and everyone else who just joined. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, Happy New Year to all of you. We're still five hours away here in Sweden, but um, I know that many of you are already there in 2021. What's the long-term cause of vaccine? Well, if we don't get the vaccines out there and completely kills the the virus, uh, millions more will die. Thank you very much, Joshua. I really appreciate your kind words there. I'm a humble guy and my streams are very relaxing. Thank you very, very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Happy New Year, Rodrigo. Uh, flickering textures in the distance, Quentin. Uh, I'm using my view distance mod. I don't really have any problems with flickering in the distance. 
Uh, I am playing on 139 mini fridge gaming. <laughs> mini fridge gaming. <laughs> uh, good name there, sir. Uh, yes, uh, I'm playing on 139. Uh, Tony, a good map mod for ATS would be if you want to add something to it. I'm going to say Pro Mods Canada. That's something you just have to add to your to your map. It's a very good quality map. That one and the Team Reforma uh, map mods uh, uh, for Mexico. Uh, Quentin, the view mod I use is my own. Uh, there's a link to it in the video description. Uh, found uh, my graphics video is found in the video description of this video, and. In that video, in the video description, you then find my my view mod. Uh, yeah, Hugo, it seems like we have almost as much people here tonight as we have uh, otherwise too. So I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing for me, of course. But maybe it's because people are socially distancing, not going to parties. Um, maybe some of you, like me, have to distance whether we like it or not, because we are sick. Um, in any case, I'm very happy to see so many of you here. Natural looks won't work in multiplayer, as most mods won't work in multiplayer. Hi, Lanky. I'm having a great, relatively speaking, evening. <laughs> <laughs> Just as great as any other night in 2020. <laughs> How the view mod work, uh, Hanji? Well, uh, it's just a mod that you add to the game that, uh, that allows the game to draw up things at the maximum distance in game uh, so it it doesn't completely solve the problem of having uh say mountains that you can see are being drawn in game uh as you get closer to them it's not like it's completely gonna remove the problem of the of the mountains being drawn up like that but it will allow the game to maximize the distance from which it is being drawn into the either view. Ilgie uh, Kumano, I will not buy the Almar SKRS. I'm having my own uh, shifter being created for me as we speak. It will be delivered to me in February of next year. <laughs> and I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. I've seen a few pictures already. Uh, let's see, is this the? No, that's not. That's not it. God, I'm completely lost. The arrow there clearly states that I'm not supposed to go this way. So what the hell? I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, but unless. EE or EEA screwed up something there. Uh, there's something wrong with that arrow. Weird. Anyway, we are here. That's the ferry. Happy New Year, Jimmy. And there we are. Now let's just pray that this ferry isn't named the Titanic. Let's see what happens. I haven't tested. I have tested the ferry. This is a ferry mod that I created myself. I have tested it so it works, but I'm not sure which ferry because you can't control that. So I'm not sure if the ferry works with this uh, perhaps a little bit longer. I think the trailer is okay. Let's see what happens.
And I should have been inside the truck, of course, but... No, we're good. We're good. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in San Gregorio. And now it's time to go up to Moron. And it's going to be another 11,545 kilometers plus before we reach our destination. Around here, we will not take the ferry. Uh, as you can see, there is a hidden road here. That's what we're going to use. So uh, the hidden road there is, uh, I think it's over there. Uh, we're going to do that instead of taking the ferry. And then first to Carrero, and then I think we have to take a ferry between Carrero and Manaus. And uh, then it's just straight on to Moron. So, two thirds, more or less, yes. And it wasn't the Titanic, so we're good, we survived the ferry. Uh, Lanky, no, there's not a lot of difference between 2.5 free and the premium version of Rowex. So, uh, use the 2.5, the free version. Uh, what you're missing out is Crimea, and that's it. <laughs> For the record, Prince, I don't have to go to Moron to become a moron. <laughs> I don't have any tutorials on how to install this combo simply because EE is a paid mod. It's almost impossible to get your hands on it unless you have a uh, verified Yandex account, which is almost impossible to get unless you actually live in Russia. So I have never seen any reason to create a, a video on how to combine this map with, um, with anything else. So, and I've actually, I actually haven't, have I driven on these spots yet? I guess I have, but I can't remember what it was like, but uh, this is EEA, so um, yeah, I'm prepared for anything. Uh, the inhabitants of Moron, uh, they're probably called people. I don't think they're called morons. And... Uh, what was Moron in Spanish, was it? They speak there. Uh, means Muddy Hill, was it? Or ste Steep Hill? Steep Hill, I think it was. So, Moron means Steep Hill. So, um... Uh, we should end this when we reach the Hidden Road Prince. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna take us way more than two hours to get to that hidden road um, let's see how far we make it tonight I mean my, my goal for tonight is to do another two hours uh, but I am willing to if you want me to to keep on going uh, even further but it it all comes down to how my body is feeling. Uh, I, as I've said a few times now, I think I have COVID-19. My ex-wife and my daughter have it confirmed. They have the exact same symptoms as I have. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I have it. I will have a test delivered to me, hopefully tomorrow. And, um, well... Uh, Jinjani, the longest you've done is 1600 kilometers. You can do better than that. Come on, buddy. Double that. The most important thing to do is when you do a long haul, don't 
think about how long it is. Don't don't think about or try to visualize how long you will be sitting there. Uh, just head down and just keep on hauling. And before you know it, you have done 3,000 or 5,000 kilometers. Uh, I'm okay, runner. I am, after all, a trucker, so uh, a little bit of COVID-19 isn't going to stop me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the that's the way to do it, Lanky. I mean, I have not yet started to think about uh, the fact that it's only ten thousand kilometers left. Uh, it's only 10 hours. Mm. I'm, I'm trying not to think about that. Just There's more roads. Just keep on going. Uh, Zil130, thank you very, very much for subscribing to me on Twitch. Really appreciate it. And of course, those of you who have started following me there as well, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, you on YouTube, if you're enjoying the stream, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. Consider becoming a member, what do I know? Uh, and, of course, on, on Twitch. Uh, feel free to uh, follow me there or do as Zil130 did and start subscribing. Ten thousand kilometers is ten thousand kilometers, and it's it's a, it's after all ten hours of live streaming, anyways, or streaming anyway. So, um, so uh, ten thousand kilometers, respect. Well, I'm not gonna let him in. Suit yourself. You put yourself in this situation. Moron. That's a nice one. Uh, Iceland to Eilat. 7,000 kilometers, Alex. Uh, I'm proud to say that almost a hundred people did that together with me during a convoy, actually, from Iceland to the Middle East. Uh, that was pretty amazing having so many people joining in for a convoy that long uh, there is a setting for for it Hugo uh, I mean you can't find a lot of holes for 500 to 1000 kilometers maybe that is because you have set the the preferred uh, job length and you perhaps you have maximized that Thank you very much, Hanny. I really appreciate it, of course. Uh, well, just just do uh, north to south uh, here in uh, in South America. That's that's at least a 10, 15 thousand kilometer haul. Uh, Thandams are one of my favorites, and I really hope that one day uh, SCS will add uh, tandems themselves so that we can have cargo both inside the truck and uh, the trailer instead of only the trailer. Uh, Prince, it's six in the morning. We will have sun uh, very soon now. So bear with me here. We will have uh, sunlight very soon. Yeah, 12,000 kilometers from O'Higgins to Bogota. That sounds uh, that sounds just about right. Uh, it is kind of nice doing these long hauls. I really enjoy it. There we go.
Well, Lady Lon, uh, it is the same uh, asset prefab as we have uh, in the Black Sea. Uh, and it is on a ton of map mods. Uh, most map mods do not include their own, as in this case, then uh, border posts. They all use the border posts found in the DLCs and, and base maps, so there's no wonder why they're using that. Uh, everyone does that. The best example of it is uh, Grand Utopia. Uh, Grand Utopia is relatively small in size when you download it and that is because it's basically only using assets and prefabs from the base map and the DLCs and it's still the most beautiful standalone map ever created. Caracas in EAA exactly like Istanbul? Uh, maybe it is. Uh, I don't care. I'm fine with that. Uh, it's not going to stop me from using EAA. Uh, Grand Utopia really is. It's an absolutely incredible map. How I got the truck damage? Uh, the truck damage we have is mainly tire wear. Uh, I've also had a tiny little crash with a train. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of people question whether a map mod actually works or not because it's only, say, 5 megabytes in size when you download it. Uh, that's what you get unless you include additional prefabs or so. So uh, there's, it's absolutely fine even if a map mod is 10 megabytes in size. It can be ridiculously big even, even if the size is just 10 megabytes. Uh, what is the full form of EAA? What do you mean, Prince? What's the full form? I don't know what that means. Well, Star Ride, you have your Yandex account. Has it been verified? Getting it, adding money to it, anyone can do that. The, the trick is, have, have it been verified? If it hasn't been verified, you won't be able to do much with it. <laughs> so it hasn't been verified yet. Uh, I wish you the best of luck getting it verified. <laughs> uh, that's the tricky part, you know. Uh, what you get by verifying your Yandex account, lady, is... Uh, well, you will be able to buy things online. You will be able to use your Yandex account in Russia in a manner similar to uh, to PayPal in the rest of the world. You can't use PayPal in Russia due to sanctions. So uh, they use Yandex instead. So if you want to buy Eastern Express, for instance, or the um, Harsh Russia Siberia map mod, you need a verified Yandex account. And if you ha don't have that, you can't buy the map or those two maps. Which is a shame, really, because Eastern Express is the biggest add-on map of Russia. And Harsh Russia Siberia is the biggest one-to-one -one scale map ever created. So it's, it's two very significant map mods. And you can't buy them unless you have a verified Yandex account. Uh, I do know I'm familiar with uh, the uh, TR Extended Map mod. Uh, I haven't used it yet, uh, but I will uh, look more into it. Well, sure, you can. Uh, that's correct, Alex. You can uh, send money to a Russian PayPal account, but those Russians can then not uh, take that money and put them into a Russian 
bank account as you and I can with our PayPal accounts. So you can send money to a Russian PayPal account, but they can then, they cannot m turn those PayPal money into real money, so to speak. Uh, Yandex accounts are fine. Uh, I mean, banks are banks. Uh, I, tr I trust a Russian bank just as much as I trust a, I don't know, American bank. <laughs> I live in Europe. <laughs> I don't think Russian hackers will try to hack a Russian bank. So if your main concern is Russian hackers, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be worried <laughs> uh, about my account in a Russian bank. I would be more concerned about my money in an American bank because of Russian hackers or European bank for that matter. Uh, no, I haven't been hacked by, uh, just because I have a Yandex account. I've never been hacked, so, uh, at least not that I'm aware of. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Russian real real hackers care about playing games like ETS2 or any other games for that matter. I think they would watch a hackers live stream instead. <laughs> Let's have a look at the map again, see how far we made it. Actually, not that far. Rio Gallegos. Uh, let's see now. It is in an hour and a half. How far could we get? Probably, maybe all the way up to Santa Rosa. Still Argentine, but uh, maybe we could make it up there. Uh, we still have a pretty long way to go. And of course, this part is going to be pretty is slow compared to the rest of it we're not going to be there are no highways in this area i can promise you that Uh, runner, have a great evening. Happy New Year to you. And I hope to see you again in 2021. I get a feeling, Lady Learn, that you're not a big fan of EAA. <laughs> I could be wrong, of course. <laughs> but I like EAA for the same reason I like Ross. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of negative things to say about Ross, myself included. Uh... But I like EAA because of the size, because we're able to haul in a part of the world that we otherwise won't see much of. I like it for the fact that it's big, and I wouldn't be able to do a 30,000 kilometer haul like this one unless I actually had EAA here. Uh, if I have bought MHA Pro for ETS2, Malai, I have done videos on MHA Pro. Hi, Alex. Tyler, weren't you already here? Maybe you weren't. Well, hi, anyway. Yeah, there's a ton of hidden roads on uh, on Ross. 
So if you haven't encountered any hidden roads there, you need to go exploring. There's a ton of them. Uh, you need an add-on to go to Canada. Uh, you can't go to Canada when you use EAA. Uh, Prince Ross is going to be a lot more fun to uh, haul on in 2021. It is currently being rescaled by one of the guys behind Ross Map. He started doing that some time ago and uh, maybe in six months or something like that we will have Ross on the 1 to 19 scale and then it's going to be a lot of fun hauling on Ross. Well, I'm not sure you can use MHA Pro and Eastern Express Malai. I think you'll end up with a lot of uh, broken roads uh, between uh, the DLCs and uh, Eastern Express if you use MHA Pro. I think. Not that I have used it myself, but uh, in that combination, but I'm pretty sure you, you'll see that uh, MHA Pro adds at least some parts to um, uh, to the Baltic Sea DLC. And the Baltic Sea DLC is not located where it's supposed to be located uh, when you use Eastern Express, so you should have broken roads there. Uh, Alex Tyler, thank you very much for being here. Happy New Year to you. Take care, buddy. Uh, Rustmap is free of charge. Just download it. Who said I did anything without a Russian passport? Uh, Star Ride. <laughs> DH Plan, thank you as well. Thank you very much for being here. Happy New Year. See you in 2021. Uh, I'm sure that MX Trucker make a map combo with Eastern Express and MHA Pro. Uh, he makes map combos, Punkito makes map combos, but I'm not gonna... But I'm not gonna comment on their map combos, uh, on whether they work or not. Uh, that's not my job to, to judge others' map combos. Uh, but I will say for my own part that I'm pretty sure you cannot combine Eastern Express and MHA Pro without breaking some roads. Uh, you're six minutes from uh, 2021, Malai. Uh, where do you live? Is that that's not India, is it? Hi, gaming TV. Uh, where to download Rustmap? You'll find a link to it on the uh, on the uh, Pro Mods forum, for instance. So if you go to the Promods forums and to the maps section there, you'll find Rossmap. Mumbai, well, six minutes left. Five minutes to go, Malai, and thank you for being here. That's awesome. Following my live stream as you get into the new year. I'm honored. <laughs> thank you. Hi, gaming TV. So we're going to do a countdown then for Malai. Four minutes to go. Uh, Blue DKV2. Uh, Happy New Year to you as well. Let's see. I don't want to get lost here. Uh, we're doing that and then... We're not going to go straight, we're going to go this way, this way. There we go. Uh, 
there are a few countries out there that I think India has more than one time zone by the way yeah Malai it's it's the same for me and for a lot of other people as well we can't do parties this year um, that's one of the things that can't be worse in 2021 I guess I'm very hopeful we will be able to uh, to do live parties next year oh come on it's just it's not that much of a hill this is it still only able to do 40 kilometers an hour ah It's going to take forever getting up this tiny little hill. It's not that steep. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, Richard, but there are quite a few places in the world where the time difference is only 30 minutes. So, Speaking of Mumbai, two minutes to go for Mumbai before you are in 2021. Jesus Christ. This is gonna take forever. One minute to go from Mumbai or India. <laughs> A billion and a half <laughs> uh, <laughs> are entering 2021 in 45 seconds. I experience, I'm pretty sure these maps, for the most case, will be fine even with a new lighting system. Uh, someone posted a fake some fake information about all map mods would die they won't uh, but of course they won't look as good without the new lighting system as they do with it 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 happy new year mumbai happy new year india <laughs> 2021 <laughs> uh, I'm sorry my lie I didn't see your comment there about your sister uh, because I had the I had the um, uh, clock up there and it's it covered the entire stream and now I feel kind of horrible uh, Malai I'm so sorry to hear about your sister there uh, on April 6 I'm so sorry for your loss uh, 2021 can't be worse than 2020 has been so I'm, I'm pretty sure your your uh, wish for 21 2021 being a better year is gonna be fulfilled Alex, it's 7.30 here in Sweden. We still have uh, four and a half hours to go. Uh, Malai, I totally agree with you. Uh, let's hope that 2021 will, will heal a lot of things for us. Look at that. We're allowed to do 100 kilometers an hour here. I guess I'm gonna speed it up then. I'm very fortunate. I, I live in Stockholm. I lived in Stockholm for 30 years. Most of my family lives in uh, in Norway. 
I've had so many colleagues or uh, close family to colleagues, my own family here in Stockholm as well, who have had COVID-19. Uh, none of them have died. Uh, even stranger though, I have most of my family in Norway and no one in Norway, of, in my family at least, knows anyone who has had COVID-19. There's such a difference between between the number of cases of COVID-19 here in Sweden compared to to the country next door, Norway. Uh, Prince, yeah, a lot of European trucks are found in Brazil. The uh, torpedo, for instance, only kept on living in Brazil for quite a few years after it was discontinued in the rest of the world. So uh, you'll find a lot of torpedoes, Scania torpedoes, in in Brazil. A lot of other European trucks are found there as well. And of course, a lot of other trucks that you can't really find anywhere else but in in Brazil. But European trucks are very common in, in Brazil and in South America. More common, I think, than American trucks, actually. I'm not sure that is a fact, though, but I'm, I'm, I'm relatively sure you see more uh, European than uh, North American trucks in, in uh, South America. Uh, do you know where I'm up to, where, where we're going? We're going to Moron in Venezuela. We're currently in southern uh, Argentina, so uh, still have 11,000 kilometers to go. And no, we won't make it tonight. It's not like I'm going to sit there for another 11 hours or more. It's probably going to take more than 11 hours. Happy New Year, Bill Gaming later. Is it BII Gaming? No. What the hell was that? Was that a person? No. I think that was a traffic cone or something. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Malai, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Uh, what a horrible way to to lose someone close to you. Uh, I, I think that is the worst thing about COVID-19. You, you, you aren't allowed to be there uh, to say farewell to, you're not allowed to be there and spend their last hours alive together with them. It's, it's just inhumane. It's just so cruel, this virus. It was a cone. Uh, that's just brilliant. How can a cone cause that much uh, damage? That cone was made out of cement. Uh, uh, buying this map? No, no, no. EEA is free of charge. You can download it from... Uh, actually, from the video description. You find a link there. On YouTube. Uh, Malai, my family is uh, relatively safe. Uh, my <laughs> my ex-wife, but more importantly, our daughter have uh, COVID-19 right now. Uh, uh, but uh, my daughter is 18 and uh, she's already feeling better. So I'm sure she's, she'll be fine and uh, back out there again uh, in a couple of days. <laughs> Vitlo? <laughs> I'm not really strong. <laughs> yes, maybe you were here around 9 o'clock last night. Uh, and uh, just after 9, I stopped streaming and I started streaming again a year, an hour and a half ago. I have not been streaming for 24 hours. Uh, 
<laughs> you know what I did last summer? Yeah, I did a live stream of 16 hours, I remember. But I'm 16 hours, I've never done anything even... Well, I have done something close to that as well. I think I had done one 12-hour live stream before that, but... I don't think I'll ever be able to do a 24-hour live stream. Uh, if we have a tire system like in the UK, do you know mm, here in Sweden? No, we don't. Uh, we have a completely incompetent government here uh, who is... Um, thinking that people will be responsible so therefore they have recommendations a lot of recommendations about things uh, they don't understand that most people are imbeciles and idiots <laughs> more importantly most people will completely ignore uh, recommendations and that's why we have uh, 9,000 people so far who have died out of a population of 9 million. The so one in a thousand have died here in Sweden of COVID-19. <laughs> Sweden Democrats do things better? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, they won't. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't have a lot of trust in in today's politicians at all uh, I honestly believe that we could trust politicians uh, back in the 90s early 2000s but since since Facebook came around it's just been going downhill and Vamps Thank you very much for being here. Um, Happy New Year to you, and I hope to see you again in 2021. Twenty five hundred new cases per day. Uh, what I was talking about is number of dead people, uh, not number of new cases. Excellent choice there, Lady Lun. I I gave up my Facebook account 10 years ago. I highly recommend staying away from all social medias. <laughs> Except for YouTube and this channel. <laughs> uh, at least when it comes to news. Um, honest to God. You can't get your news from, from, uh, from Facebook or from Twitter or from... YouTube or, or anywhere else uh, the the so-called mainstream media uh, is the correct way to get your news and a lot of you will not agree with me on this I'm pretty sure of that but the fact is that no matter if you're left or right we all dream about uh, how much better it was back in the day and that is true because we all got our news from the same sources back then so we all had the same idea what reality was. And these days we are so divided because some get their news from Facebook and others get them from the mainstream media. And it looks very different. Uh, so, yeah. As long as we can't even uh, agree on what a actual fact is anymore, it's never going to be better. Smoothly rough. No mate, no social media, period. And I'm on all of them. <laughs> but I'm only on them because map mods are found on... And information about this game is found on, on the social medias. So that's the only reason I'm using any of them. Thank you, Lady Learn. I'm trying. I'm not squirrel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> contrary to some people's beliefs, 
I've never said I'm the new squirrel or I've never thought that I would be the new squirrel, but I am myself a very big fan of squirrel and he is the reason I started doing this. Uh, he's my big inspiration. Um, and I still watch his videos, not as much as I used to do. But, um, and I'm kind of only watching when he plays this game or games similar to this. Which he unfortunately doesn't do in much much of anymore. Uh, yeah, both ETS two and ATS. He used to do videos on ATS two, but um, maybe one day he will be back. From what I understand, he's pretty tired of the games. How that is possible, I have no idea. I I honestly didn't know you could get tired of these two games, but. Evidently, you can. We all loved his videos on this game. Uh, he's... Uh, should I? Sh no, I shouldn't. Slow down, slow down. Uh, well, he's not the one who got me into uh, trucks and ETS2 video. Uh, but I'm, I'm not surprised he got you into it because he he made a lot of people uh, start playing these games uh, but he's definitely the reason why I started making my videos at all he and my oldest daughter are the two reasons I started doing videos my oldest daughter is the reason because when I asked her because I, I really wanted to do it so I asked my daughter do you think I should do it and she said absolutely not and that's all I needed. Um, so that's the that's the other reason why I started doing this, just to annoy her. Well, come on then, get in there. Good job. Uh, if there are dangerous roads on the way to Moron Prince, uh, you know what? Let's have another look at the map again. Yes, there are uh, difficult slash dangerous roads here. Uh, the one I come to think of the most, of course, is this hidden road between Umatia and um, uh, Carrero. Uh, this one is pretty epic. I've actually done a video on this road, this hidden road in the past uh, brilliant road uh, the other one that comes to mind we're not doing that but that is the road br230 you can see some of it here and it stretches all the way continues down here and all the way over to uh, there it is to santrita and joao pasua brilliant road you need to try that out yourself you're gonna love it uh, other than that um I'm not sure any of the roads we're hauling on are dangerous as per se, but difficult. I'm sure we're going to have some difficult hill climbs on our way up here. Uh, but I can't point to anyone specifically, any road, any part of the roads here being uh, difficult or dangerous other, as I said, uh, than this one here. It doesn't look that long. But it's going to take us about an hour, uh, at least, to complete this road here. Uh, and uh, well, this is this is interesting to hold on, but it's not it's not a dangerous road. I wouldn't call it that. Ha! <laughs> I don't condone using pirated versions of the game, but you played it on your grandpa's old, your grandma's old PC at 10 FPS, <laughs> and, and you still decided you liked it. <laughs> you had your dinner already, farmer. That was quick.
well, of course, there's always the risk of us being shot whenever we sleep on our way up to Moron, but um, that's one of the dangers of hauling in South America, I guess. Uh, no, there's no difficult or dangerous roads on this route other, Richard, than the uh, the one that we would otherwise take by ferry, the hidden one there. That's going to be pretty difficult, uh, also because, well, it's a low boy. Ground clearance is absolutely horrible, <laughs> so um, that's going to be interesting. BC, thank you very, very much. Appreciate that a lot. Rotas Yosimar map is a dangerous map mod. Rotas Yosimar? Rosimar? Josimar. Can't remember having heard of that map. Uh, Rupesh, you have a link to that map that you can share with us. Rohan, happy new year to you. You are 18 minutes into the new year, I've heard. Happy new year, brother. You sent it already, Rupesh? To me? I guess that means that I had already, already seen the map. Well, if you sent it to me, Rupesh, I will probably... I will have seen it and decided that well maybe it is dangerous roads but maybe the maybe the quality of it if you'll excuse me for saying so maybe that wasn't the best so maybe that's why i can't remember it because i decided to not use it perhaps yeah prince uh i'm i'm aware uh, we will probably have a teleport or two, but I'm okay with that. I'm still gonna try to do it. Ah, textures are not nice. I guess that's why I forgot about it, and Rupesh. Well, good for you, Olaf. My memory is like a goldfish memory, so... <laughs> My brain is too small to remember everything. Uh, looks like I better floor it. Ouch. Uh, because that doesn't look good. Uh, Arts Afro Studio, uh, thank you for being here and uh, Happy New Year. Master Mops, I'm not the best, but thank you. <laughs> Hanya, thank you. Uh, see you later, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna speed a little bit here. Uh, which was kind of stupid, I guess, because now I have to slow down. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to slow down. You gotta keep your speed up. No, 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 no. What is this? God damn it. Okay, we're good. For now. Uh, same here, Aquastic. Four hours and nine minutes to go. You know what? I'm gonna go really slow now for a bit. Just to get some distance between them and myself. Let's see if that is enough. It's probably not enough, but let's see. Uh, 
It's not enough. Oh, God damn it. Mm. Well, looks like it's not as steep as I thought it was. So we're gonna be okay. I think. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Even though it is pretty steep here. <laughs> Uh, the EAA Rust map fix is needed for uh, EAA 6.0, yes, but the EAA Pro Mods fix is not required. Vig P72, Happy New Year! You there already, Vig P? Or are you four hours away from it as, as many of us? The others of us are. Uh, not a full man. We entered EAA about an hour ago. Uh, let me have a quick look at the pipes there. They look kind of open to me. <laughs> But this is the uh, default uh, built-in RJL truck sound. I know it's the new year for you, Rupesh. You've been uh, you're 23 minutes into the new year. Go faster! I'm going. I'm flooring it, dude. <laughs> I'm flooring it. I know you meant the open pipes mod. No, I'm not using that. This is the proper T730, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, you're in Australia, Big P. Well, congratulations, you were the first to reach the new year. Six in the morning already. So, what, what can you tell us, Big P? Is 2021 any better than 2020? <laughs> or is it just as horrible as, <laughs> as 2020 was? <laughs> Hi, MRT. If I've never been to Nepal, I'm sorry to say, never been there. Maybe one day. Uh, Alex, yes, there are Scania T series here in Europe, but there's not a lot of them. <coughs> Most of Europe have. Uh, well, I'm I'm only going to talk for Sweden, or perhaps Scandinavia, but. Uh, for a long time now, we've had restrictions on the total length of trucks and trailers. Uh, so um, the longest you can have them are 24 meters in the, nowadays. So that means that if you cut off the bonnets, as we have done with modern Scania trucks, well, you can make your trailer a meter, a meter and a half longer. So, um, so that's why we don't have them anymore. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't have thumb torpedoes here still. Uh, here in Stockholm there is a beautiful uh, T-series uh, still in commercial traffic. Uh, I haven't been to work for a long time, but that truck is used between halls between the harbor here in Stockholm and uh, somewhere else and uh, my office is pretty close to the harbor so I have the opportunity to see it every so often that Scania T-Series uh, I don't know who owns it or to where it's going but it is there from time to time uh, with a trailer attached and it looks just beautiful Uh, Scania T production stopped in 2005 here in Europe, yes. It kept on going in Brazil for another 10 years or so. Uh, until 2014, 2015 something. Uh, 
No, not the harbor in Nynäshamn, but the harbor in Stockholm. We do have a harbor here as well. Uh, mainly traffic to the Baltic Sea and uh, and Russia, perhaps. Finland. Uh, if, uh, actually, in-game you can celebrate New Year's Eve as often as you like. You can, you can celebrate it every day if you like. <laughs> Have you forgotten you can actually set the date <laughs> uh, in, in that game? So, um... <laughs> Vicky! Happy New Year to you! I guess you two are almost 30 minutes into the new year. We're still four hours away from it. I'm doing better today, Rupesh, uh, or better tonight than I was doing yesterday evening. But I've, I still have COVID-19. <laughs> Three more hours. Three more hours. You're only three hours away in Romania. Uh, well, here in Sweden, we're four hours away. We're getting there soon enough. I think we need to find somewhere to stop for the night because it's getting pretty dark. Hugo, you're five hours away. Where do you live, Hugo? <laughs> uh, uh, Vicky, I, I think I'm corona positive. Uh, I got sick a couple of days ago. Woke up last yesterday morning with a lot of fever. Uh, it was better in the evening so I decided to do my live stream anyway same thing again today lots of fever lots of headaches during the day uh, constantly tired uh, my muscles hurt the few muscles I have they hurt <clears throat> uh, and I have the exact same symptoms as my daughter and my ex-wife have and they have confirmed COVID-19 uh, so um, so I'm pretty sure I have it I've ordered a test uh, probably because <clears throat> probably because it's New Year's Eve I didn't get the test today uh, it will probably arrive tomorrow so on the uh, on January the 2nd I'll have my results and I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be positive but I'm okay Uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, I mean, if it doesn't get any worse than it is or has been during the last 48 hours, I'm, I'm totally fine having it now. Uh, my bare muscle doesn't hurt. Uh, it's more my arms, my, my back, my, my, uh, my legs. Those muscles hurt. Oh, you're, ooh, ah. uh, you know what? It's seven in the evening and it's pretty dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play God here and just quickly change the time of day to five in the morning. Should have sunlight in less than an hour now. Imra, happy new year. Uh, try to take more uh, rests, Rohan. Well. I'm here live streaming. <laughs> and I'm a trucker. I will not let the COVID-19 affect me. <laughs> uh, Vicky, I'm sure that if just 
pressing some lime juice up your nose would help. I'm pretty sure scientists would have confirmed that already. I'm not saying that it's not working, but mm, I'm not sure it will cure COVID-19 either. <laughs> Imre, why do you always ask that? Yes, I do remember you. <laughs> My memory might be as good as a goldfish memory, but it's not completely gone. <laughs> uh, I do not drink alcohol, no. <laughs> Mango juice doesn't work. <laughs> On the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so you're in in the uk yeah you're an hour behind us um the Finns are an hour in front of us so uh, finland is only three hours away uh yeah i do drink tea vicky uh with uh, uh lemon in it instead of lime but um that kind of helps too And honey, of course, honey. I do have honey at home as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna put lime up my nose, Reese. <laughs> at 2 million subscribers, I will put lime up my nose, but not until I have 2 million subscribers. <laughs> so, that's not gonna happen. Uh, Imre, how my day have been? Well, I've been lying in, lying in bed, watching TV, uh, having fevers, um, and feeling sorry for myself. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's been a great day. <laughs> An Irish tea, what is that? Is that just warm whiskey? Nah, seriously, I'm, I'm kind of sad I couldn't do my one o'clock live stream because of the fever. Uh, I really wanted to do two parts to this haul today. But um, maybe we can stretch this one a little bit further than just the three hours. Uh, I'm not going to promise that. Uh, we're gonna do at least one more hour though that is what i will promise <laughs> thank you for your service hugo <laughs> what a sport <laughs> having a drink for me as well so I've, if you get drunk that's my fault then because if it hadn't been for me you would only drink half as much <laughs> Uh, where we're going, Imra? Uh, let's have a look at the map again. We're in Commodoro Rivi, Rivadavia. We've made quite the progress in the first hour, I must say. We started. We actually started earlier today here in uh, Lodz. And made our way over to Calais. And uh, about an hour ago, we came to San Gregorio. Despite the huge sea storms we had on our way on the ferry over to San Gregorio, we made it on time. Now we're in Commodoro. And we only have 10,500 kilometers to go. I need to make a sacrifice for good you or Merry Christmas. Why would I sacrifice anything? <laughs> Vicky, thank you very much. Uh, Happy New Year to you. And uh, I do hope that 2021 will, for you as well as for everyone else, be a much, much better year than 2020 ever was. In any way, I hope to see you again next year and uh, 
take very good care of yourself, Vicky. Oh, that sacrifice! <laughs> uh, uh, fine, I'm gonna sacrifice another of our house slaves later. I'm a Viking, and of course we have slaves. <laughs> Uh, Vitlo, any map models that have Balkan countries in it? Sure. Uh, Macedonia, Project Balkans, perhaps. Uh, especially Project Balkans, perhaps. Uh, yeah, you know, 2021 won't be a... First half of 2021 is going to be just as bad as 2020 has been. I mean, 2021 isn't going to be any better unless until everyone has gotten the vaccines. So, um, thank you very much, Vicky. Happy New Year to you. Uh, so, there's that. There's one of the reasons why 2021 is going to be just as bad as 2020 was. But the second half of 2021 could be quite all right. Except that the economies will be horrible hang on what did i just do i oops i just had to come down here and take a look at this roundabout i've heard so much good stuff about it so let's let's go and have a look at that roundabout new year new flu <laughs> 2021 can't possibly be any worse than 2020 uh it's not a fact but i'm still gonna say it's it's impossible to have a year worse than 2020 was it's gonna be better it has to be better uh par yeah eastern express uh, includes support for buses. Uh, I think you can spend actually 16 hours or so if you haul all the way from Vladivostok up to uh, up to Murmansk. I think that's a 16 hour ride or something. That's for sure. 2020 isn't the worst year ever. It's not even close to being the worst year ever. But it is, in my opinion at least, the worst year we've had in the 21st century. Uh, but it's nothing compared to 1943, 1918, 1848, 538. All of those years and a lot of other years as well has been way worse than 2020 was. It wasn't a shoker, Xperior. It was a bow tie. Get over it. <laughs> You're three hours away, Anya. We are four hours or three hours and 50 minutes from the new year. Legit Rob, let me guess. You're, you're 20 or younger. Uh, yeah, Paris, there's there's not a lot of there there are actually a lot of mountain roads if you if you go north. Also, if you go down to um, down to um, oh, what's the name of the Swedish city where they have the Formula One races? Jesus, uh, the city of, uh, uh, same city they have the Olympics in. It's completely gone from my memory, the name of that city. No, it's not Anderstorp. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about Swedish, Sweden as all. <laughs> 
Games on Gamer, thank you very much and Happy New Year to you as well. Uh, now I'm talking about on Eastern Express. Eastern Express, Russia. Russia had uh, the Olympics a few years back, 2016 was it? And they also have one of the Formula One races every year. Uh, and it's the city of... It's the city of Sochi. Thank you, Colored Lonely. Jesus Christ. Sochi. Yes. Thank you. So, Pai. <laughs> if you go north to south, down to Sochi, you'll find uh, quite a few very, very nice roads to haul on. Uh, uh, mountain roads as well. Uh, between us, Sochi isn't the greatest Formula One race, of course, but worst track of Spain. I don't know. Uh, we are currently in the city of um, Commodora Riva, Riva, Commodora Riva, something. Why are we talking about Mantorp? <laughs> and how the hell did that helicopter manage to follow us all the way from Russia to Argentine? <laughs> I do not mean Marseille. <laughs> I meant Sochi. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Mm. Well, looks like we're gonna head into the mountains now. So, uh, some very slow high hill climbing coming up. Or maybe not. Or maybe. Uh, Zora, how much more to to uh, do before we reach our destination? Uh, 10,438 kilometers. So at least another 10 hours. That's why it's the longest haul in the world. <laughs> We couldn't complete it in 2020, so we had to continue into 2021 before we could complete it. Um, it is going to be at least 30 hours of hauling. Uh, because as you can see, we're only... We've done 40 kilometers an hour for quite a lot of South America so far. And uh, there will be more of that. It's not like we're going to be able to do... 70 between 70 and 90 kilometers an hour all the time here unfortunately no still more than 10,000 to go uh, 10,424 uh, so um, <laughs> when I'll start holding on the harsh Russian Siberia map exterior I've already done two live streams of that map. Uh, and I don't know when I'm going to do it next time, uh, Xperior. The Hard Siberia map is not very streaming friendly. Sure, it's, it's incredibly big. But it's also quite frustrating to haul on because you can't rely on the GPS. It is on purpose showing the, the uh, wrong roads in a lot of places. So it, it's, it's a lot of a... It's a guessing game where to go on that map. Uh, no, Thanos, I stopped playing uh, Transport Fever 2. Uh, I really, really loved it for like two weeks and then I 
just stopped playing. I got bored. If we're driving through Sylvester, I have no idea. Gamer construct. I have no idea. Kirk Bernard, thank you for being here, buddy. I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, that's a good question, Uffa. Uh, Goldberg was he part of Ross? I don't think he was. Uh, but I remember there were some plans about combining Go uh, Goba, combining Ross and uh, and um, and Goba's map, but I don't think that ever materialized, and I don't think they ever started to cooperate on it. So I don't think he was. I'm so sorry to hear that, Kirk. Arthritis in both your knees. Uh, where does that put you in knee operations, or is it treatable with medication only? I'm so happy my knees work. <laughs> Sylvester is what we call New Year's Eve in Eastern Europe. There is actually a city here on EAA that is also named Sylvester, so I didn't get that. Well, Kirk, I hope it's treatable with medicines instead of operations or anything like that. Um, I hope it's easily treatable with medications. You really think Ross feels Goba-ish, Uffe? I won't agree with you on that. I, I don't. I don't see the resemblance at all. To be honest, other than, sure, it's the same country. Um, and sure, it's the same game, but I don't. I don't really see the uh, resemblance between them. I'm gonna try to pour myself some more water, see if this works. Ugh. Don't do this at home, people. More importantly, don't do it while actually trucking. Also, don't use the external camera while trucking, IRL. There we go. Hi Toth Biro. Mm, happy New Year to you. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you're on autopilot while you while you do that, Thanos. <laughs> Use the drive-by camera, IRL. Don't do that. <laughs> That's a very, very straight, long road in front of us there. Oh, well. Cheers. Uh, not a full man. Yes, I do play Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, I've actually done a couple of live streams of it as well. Uh, and a video. 
of me flying here in Stockholm. Happy New Year, Toth Biro. Is it a new year yet, Toth? Are you there yet? In 2021? I'm still waiting for Kaliak to come by and confirm that 2021 is much better than 2020. I hope we get to see her, but to be honest, I think she's... Um, well... Drunk. Still waiting for a repair shop to uh, that is easily accessible to show up on the map. Would be nice to do some repairs to the truck. Mehul Parmar, thank you very much and happy new year to you as well. Mehul Parmar, you sounds like you so your name sounds like you're uh, Indian, so I'm gonna say that you're already in 2020. 2021 that is <laughs> Xperior uh, that's in your country only then <laughs> what are the most exotic countries people watching my videos and streams from um, Moldova there are like two people living in Moldova, and both of them have actually been there once. Uh, I, I, it's, uh, I don't spend a lot of time looking at the uh, analytics. Uh, you, you can find a lot of interesting data about. Uh, the people who are watching your videos and I think that I have had people from like a hundred and fifty countries watching s something uh, I've done uh, uh, over those years that I've been doing live uh, videos uh, the most exotic countries I don't know Konstantin, also from Moldova. And Mehul was from India. Yay! I'm good. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Nuclear cocktails. Hi. <laughs> Nuclear cocktails. Well, part of uh, parts of Argentine is pretty flat, so I guess this is accurate and also very, very boring <laughs> to look at. But it's okay. Three and a half hours to go here. Three and a half hours to the new year. Uh, hello to you from Russia there. Two and a half hours, I guess, from the new year. Uh, I can't pronounce your name. Boris, perhaps? No, not Boris. Uh, anyway, thank you for being here, buddy. Uh, Colored Lonely, I'm not sure I will be able to do another three and a half hours. If it hadn't been for for my COVID-19 or whatever it is I have, uh, I would have said, yes, let's go. Let's haul into the new year. I'm not sure how long I can do this before I'm 
completely beat up. I'm pretty sure it didn't save Vladimir Putin, Thanos. <laughs> uh, but it let's let's just say that I'm not sure I'll end the live stream in uh, in half an hour. I might keep it going for a while, uh, but I, I I don't know how much longer I will be able to keep it going. But my hopes for today was that I was going to be do a three-hour live stream at 1 p.m. and then this one at 6 p.m. And I couldn't do the first one because I did still have a pretty high fever at 1 p.m. Uh, right now I don't have any fevers, so... Um, it does save Vladimir Putin. If that's the case, thank you for being here, uh, Mr. President. Uh, wow. We have Vladimir Putin here. That's awesome. <laughs> Not even Squirrel had Vladimir Putin watching his live streams. So that's one point for me. And then, of course, the other 99 points to Squirrel, but still, one to me. <laughs> <laughs> you come here to forget about politics, Abhishek. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of happy you say that because that means you will be here a lot because there's a lot of politics to forget about. Ah. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Sorax. That's very nice of you to say. Well, this stream should at least make you very sleepy. I mean, <laughs> there's not a lot going on on this road. I'm gonna say that probably says uh, have a great 2021 or something, Vlad Mr. President. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about this beautiful experience. <laughs> or this ugly mountain. Uh, in any way, Mr. Putin, I do not speak or read Russian, so uh, English, please. Thank you, Thanos, for... Um uh, how rest was uh, exhausting. big climb to get out into the top of, of breasts, as it always is. But, um, nice views from up there. I think someone did say that EE was boring. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of these really really big maps uh, tend to be boring it shouldn't be that surprising really <laughs> you plan on stealing more land soon <laughs> well at least you're honest Mr. Putin <laughs> I appreciate that <laughs> Uh, Tony, yes, this map do work with Pro Mods, but I do recommend that you use it. 
either with EE as I'm doing now, Eastern Express, or even better uh, as a standalone map. Uh, using it as a standalone map, you can add South American traffic mods, South American companies, South American trucks and trailers, things like that. Uh, I guess buying land doesn't work. If, uh, I mean, look at Trump. He tried to buy Greenland. That didn't work. So uh, maybe stealing it would have worked better. Abhishek, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, abandoned ghost towns in Russia. Especially in the northern parts. Zachary, good evening to you, sir, and Happy New Year. What is a who man, Thanos? Shall we move on to something else, perhaps? <laughs> I mean, it could turn bad if we continue to talk about uh, President Putin, President Trump, stealing land, etc. <laughs> uh, Zachary, yes, of course, I'll be streaming some uh, more ATS, but I've made a pledge of not doing any more ATS streams until 2021, so you're going to have to wait until next year. Uh, but next year I will do more ATS live streams, yes. Oh, come on. We're doing th 30. Come on. Uh, yes, Fred, I will show you the map. Let me just get up this hill. And there we go. And here's the map. There we are. So we're going to go straight for a little bit. And then we're going to take a slight turn to the right. And then another one to the right. So uh, shall we carry on? Or maybe I can scroll out a little bit. Uh, so we are in uh, Trelev. And I thought that we would make it up to uh, Rio, Colorado before the end of the live stream. And that seems to be correct. We should be around Rio, Colorado in 30 minutes. Maybe we can keep on going for a bit. Maybe we can go to uh, Paso de los Libres, Sao Borja. Uh, maybe. Let's see what happens. Uh, mod for zooming out. Uh, scroll wheel on my mouse. Uh, but I am using this with uh, Bang & Jay's background maps. Uh, the maps, uh, background maps that I'm using on all my map combo videos. And uh, that's the only zoom I use because that has a zoom built in. Uh, Olaf, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna overestimate my powers <laughs> again. So I will be doing just one live stream tomorrow. I don't expect that I will be able to do two tomorrow. I was kind of hoping I would today. I couldn't do it today. I'm guessing I will be um, doing just one tomorrow as well. Uh, you know what? When I wake up in the morning. I have a pretty high fever and then it gradually goes down 
and two days ago uh, or yesterday I mean uh, the fever went away more or less at around four o'clock uh, and uh, same thing today around four o'clock it, it went away uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be the same again tomorrow um, my daughter started having the COVID-19 symptoms uh, two days no sorry four days no two days before I started having them um, and she had fever again today this morning and uh, so since I'm having the same symptoms as, as she have same as some other have and they are a couple of days ahead of me uh, I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be the same for me so <laughs> Are you saying, Olaf, that you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have welcomed your sister tomorrow <laughs> if I had done double live streams? <laughs> That's horrible. I feel sorry for your sister. Uh, no matter how I'm feeling tomorrow, then I will only do one live stream because I totally think you should welcome your sister tomorrow. Uh, I, I think that could be important to keep your family a little bit closer than you keep me. <laughs> oh, uh, Fred, if you look up, Ufishu just published a link to the map mod with the built-in A map mod. I think that's Bengans, right, Ufa? I think that's the one. So use the link that uh, Ufishu just uh, published. Pound, uh, I just showed the map, so I'm not going to put it up again. Um, we're on uh, road three. <laughs> oh, hang on! And we have nine thousand. We have less than ten thousand kilometers to do now. Less than ten thousand. Uh, I I will show you the map in a bit again, Paul. I, it's just that I I did show it literally two minutes ago. So I'll, I'll show you the map in a, again in a bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure he has anything to to be afraid of. I mean, it's been a few years since every girl out there wanted this. <laughs> Slow down. So we are in another state in um, in Argentina, yes. Uh, doing holes like this uh, across continents that that kind of works for me once per year but I don't have any map combos or any uh, profiles that I use where I on a regular basis hold between South America and Europe I don't really see the point in doing that other than for these long holes Well, if you start from the south of Brazil, Alex, you should get to Moron before me. Uh, because I'm not in Brazil just yet. <laughs> turn on the... Ch I don't want to... I, want, I don't want to turn this into a... 90% female viewers... thingy. Even though I probably could.
Uh, ETA tomorrow, Lewis. Um, at least 10 hours IRL. So we're not going to make it tonight, obviously. We will not make it tomorrow. Maybe on the 2nd of January. Maybe. Depends on whether I can do double live streams or not. Probably. Uh, the only way to make it on the second would be to either do double live streams or me hauling all the way into next year <laughs> tonight. And I don't think I'll be able to do another three hours of live streaming today. Uh, Sora's, I'm using the Logitech G25. Uh, <laughs> Pollard, that's only because I, I I would love to haul all the way into 2021. This is probably the only year I'll be able to haul from one year into another year. Next year, I'll have my kids, so that won't happen. So the year after, 2022, uh, we're probably going to be able to party again. So... Yeah, this is probably the only time I'll be, I could potentially do a live stream from one year into another year. Make an hour break and come back, colored. That's tempting. But I also know that once I stop doing this live stream, from previous experience, I can tell this is a fact. It's going to be pretty hard getting back into the seat and continuing. Uh, yesterday evening, I fell asleep almost immediately after the live stream uh, because I was completely beat up. Uh, I didn't feel completely beat up when I ended this live stream, but as soon as the lights went out, I just realized how tired my body was. So if I stop just to take an hour break, it's probably going to be the end of it. We won't make it to the hidden road today, Prince. That I can guarantee you. Even if we did continue on for another three hours, uh, we would still not be there. Miles, uh, good evening to you, sir, and happy new year. Um, if not yet, then, then soon at least. Uh, how I'm feeling tonight. Uh, not worse. Also not better than yesterday. <laughs> um, also, I, I'm pretty sure that if this has been any other year, I wouldn't have 90 people watching on YouTube and another 30 watching on, on, on Twitch. I would probably be here all by myself. Maybe together with Olaf because he just hates his family, but... Uh, at least his sister. Uh, EAA uses Romanian science pawn. They do. The stuff traders say MAGA. No, MEGA. MEGA. Oh, you're in the UK, Miles, so uh, you're you're almost four hours. Ah, oh, it's your sister-in-law. <laughs> uh, Andrew, you can live stream on YouTube for 11 hours and 55 minutes. And the strange thing about the cuts, Andrew, is that as the creator of the, the video, I can watch 24 hours of it if I make it 24 hour live stream I haven't done that I have done a 16 hour live stream and I can still watch all 16 hours whereas you can only watch 11 hours and 55 minutes I don't know why that is it's just how it is unfortunately Yeah, Miles, the, the, the reason I said I'm not doing better today than yesterday is because I probably have COVID-19. Uh, my, my daughter had a positive 
results yesterday. My ex-wife as well. Both of them have the exact same symptoms as I'm having. Uh, so, yeah. But it's fine. If it's if it's not getting any worse than it is, I'm more than happy to have COVID-19 now and hopefully some antibodies uh, so that I'm staying a little bit safer for a few months. Your wife watches Emmerdale and Coronations of all the things you can watch. Wow. Uh, well, I, if I had a wife and she was watching Emmerdale and Coronation Street, I would too watch my live streams. <laughs> Hi, Shivanash, and Happy New Year to you. Yeah, me too. I, <laughs> I'm not really sure what Coronation Street is all about. I, I've heard of it, uh, but I, I can guarantee I, I don't want to know anything about it. Just the name, same with Emmerdale. Just the names of those uh, TV soaps. I didn't even know it was a soap. Uh, just the names of those series as make it sound like something I really, really don't want to watch. <laughs> uh, Shivanesh, uh, Shivansh Gamer, thank you very, very much for your donation there of... Is it rupees? I think it's called rupees. Indian... Indian pesos, anyway. Thank you very, very much for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, love to you as well. Happy New Year. And there it is. It is 10 minutes 9. Uh, Hanyan, uh, Shisenga, thank you very much for being here, buddy. Have a happy, happy new year. I can guarantee your 2021 will be way better than 2020 was <laughs> at some point. Uh, so uh, take care, buddy. Stay safe. Have a very, very uh, happy new year. Barry, I'm totally with you. I'm very proud to say I don't have a wife either. Uh, I don't have a... There's not anyone out there that can uh, say that they are my girlfriend. I try to avoid strings. Except for G-strings. Uh, <laughs> completely. And I'm very happy with that. Oops, I'm just going to pull up next to him because I wanted to. That trailer skin. Is that Greek on the back of the trailer skin? Oh, he's going in the wrong direction. It looked Greek. Alex, uh, I think that there's um, several several um, conflicts with MHA connected to Eastern Express. It's all Greek to you. <laughs> um, MX Trucker have created a map combo apparently with e uh, MHA and uh, Eastern Express. I'm not sure it works. But, um, yeah.
Eggman, happy new year. Uh, how to learn how to create skins. Uh, there are several tutorials, great tutorials even, both on the SES forum as well as on the ProMods forum. I think there's a couple of videos out there as well on how to make uh, skins. Uh, it's not very difficult. I would recommend that you try to find a skin, pre-made skin, uh, for the truck or the trailer you want to make a skin for. Uh, download that, make sure that it works for the truck or trailer you want to use it on. And once you have that, you can use that uh, mod as a template. So what you need to do next, uh, when you have a skin mod uh, that includes a skin for the truck and trailer you want to use, uh, then you need to search for the actual template for the uh, skin that you want to make. Uh, and you save that then as a uh, uh, you, you download it and use whatever um, use whatever uh, paint Photoshop or paint or whatever application you want to use to to then create the uh, skin and then you go back to the skin that you downloaded and the largest file in there that you can find you need to replace that file with the skin that you just made and then it will work. Uh, just make sure that you save it in the correct format uh, to make it even easier. Do not use any compression whatsoever. It will make that file a lot larger than it otherwise would be, but it's guaranteed to work. Also make sure that you save it with um, Minimaps, uh, and you need a and you need a plug in for your application to save it as the in the correct file format. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Uh, go to the SES forum or the ProMods forum. You'll you'll find uh, you find um, uh, you find uh, information on how to make them there. Maybe I'll do a video on it sometime. <laughs> I just screw that up completely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, making skins is is the easiest thing to do when it comes to modding, I think. So, you'll figure it out. Yes, it did say uh, Russian on the truck, Richard. It's just that the, the leathers looked very Greek. They didn't look Russian. <laughs> Thank you, Hegeman. You know what? I, I, I'll probably make a video on how to make uh, trailer skins and maybe one on making truck skins as well. Uh, at some point. Anyway, it's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's getting dark. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cheating there playing god it's five in the morning it's still dark but give it an hour or so and it will be lights again <laughs> i re i realized they lad exterior i just should have kept my mouth shut after saying <laughs> that there are tutorials on it on the SES forum and the promotes forum <laughs> Uh, well, evidently, Richard, Eastern Express do not crash for me every five minutes. So, um, maybe you're doing something wrong. Additional mods, perhaps? Maybe you're using a pirated version of it. Uh, <laughs> what do I know? What do I know? Wow, the progress we're making. 9,500 to go.
we're getting into the dangerous zone because now it's less than 10,000 kilometers and at this point it's it starts being tempting to think about the destination and the number of kilometers we have to go before we are there and and calculating the hours it will take uh, which is dangerous because that's gonna make it unbearable living with the fact that there's another 10 hours at least to go before we reach our destination mango uh, well I'm happy you uh, came in just to say that so thank you very much and happy new year to you as well stay safe mango no parties this year uh, isolate yourself from everyone except your closest family uh, wear a mask around them just in case uh, and happy happy new year to you uh, the time here in Sweden is 9 p.m. so we're three mi three minutes three hours from uh, from the new year lover boy happy new year to you Uh, Richard, yes, I do use DirectX 11, of course. I highly recommend you stay far, far away from OpenGL. There's fewer and fewer map mods and trucks and trailers and all of that that actually works in OpenGL. All of them work with DirectX 11, but fewer and fewer works with uh, OpenGL. Well, that's a straight road. No hands, mama. I'm just gonna sit there. Still no hands. Cheers, everyone. Mm. And I totally need to pour myself some more water that wasn't too difficult uh, lover boy I think that's just you to be honest uh <laughs> If I may be, if I may say so, I hope it's only you. Uh, both Twitch and YouTube looks fine from here. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Tony. Good evening to you. Speed limit is 100, but we are about to take a 90 degree turn, so I'm not going to speed it up to 100. <laughs> Alex, uh, have a glass of wine for yourself as well, not only one for me, so make that two glasses then. You had buffering? Wow, haven't had buffering in a long time. Well, looks like I won't need hands this time on this road either. Let's have a look at the map because it's nine o'clock. Um, and look at that. There's Rio, Colorado. Damn, I'm good. I said we would make it to Rio, Colorado uh, today. And it's nine o'clock and we're basically in Rio, Colorado. And I don't think we're going to stop just yet. If you're okay with it, I will continue for another few kilometers. 
Um, I don't know for how much longer, but maybe do a little bit more. If you're okay with that. In any case, if you want me to continue, make sure to give me a thumbs up on YouTube. A subscription there as well, if you haven't done that already. Or perhaps even a membership. What do I know? And the same goes for you on Twitch. Better press that follow button there. Or I will stop immediately. <laughs> Excellent. Then we keep on for a bit. I'm not going to say we're going to do this for three hours more, but... Let's call it at least an hour. <sighs> I better keep that promise. I want to make up for not making double live streams today, so... It would be nice to, to reach. Uh, thank you, Flayroy. There we go. Following on Twitch. Thank you very much. Unless I start coughing, of course, or uh, or the key fever kicks back in. Uh, what part of the world we are in, just though? We are in uh, Argentina, Eastern, sorry, uh, South America. Just south of Rio, Colorado. There it is, on the GPS. And the landscape changed a lot. There it is, Rio, Colorado. I'm four minutes late. I said we would make it to Rio, Colorado by nine. <laughs> four minutes past. <laughs> Since it is nine o'clock here, I guess we just had another few countries who made it to 2021. So, Happy New Year to those of you who have reached 2021 so far. I hope it's way better than 2020 was. Exterior, yeah, with a little bit of luck, you'll have SCS coming out with something for for Brazil in 20 years. But it's it's gonna require a lot of luck, I'm afraid. Vilnius Popiarios Fabricas. That doesn't sound very South American. There's another reason why you shouldn't combine EAA with other map mods. You don't want to see trailers from Vilnius, in this case, here in South America. Welcome back, lady. Uh, Franco, I do recommend you spend time on EAA, but as I just said, do it as a standalone map, not as an add-on map. I laugh at myself all the time, Xperior. <laughs> Everyone say Happy New Year in your own language. That's actually a good idea, Olaf. Gott nytt år. Happy New Year. Gott nytt år. Gott nytt år. I actually said that in three different languages, and I'm pretty sure you all thought I said the same thing three times. 
Gelukkig nieuw waar. Vrolijkes nieuw jaar. Schesli vego no vego ruku. Anu ferisit laimigu jaunu gadu. Gadul. Please, Anna Nuevo. <laughs> Thank you, Xperu. <laughs> Are you sure it was? <laughs> Stay happier in your own language, and your uh, favorite pet will then um, try to pronounce it. <laughs> Bonne année uh, to whoever that was. Oh, I, I can't read your name because it's, uh, well, I can see it there. Only Hoso. Only Hoso. That's the name. <laughs> Thank you for the bits there, buddy. Uh, Nadulig Laven. Feliz Ano Novo. Uh, did I already say that? Inaya Sal Mubarak Ho. I'm so totally murdering your languages. Sreshna <laughs> Nova Godina. If your map is rotated, you know what, guys? It's New Year, so what the hell? If your map is rotated, go to Options, go to Gameplay, scroll down to Map Alignment, change it from Always North or North Locked to Flat, and uh, problem solved. Justo, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair, Justo. Um, I'm... I'm you have to use Roman letters at least. That's that's gonna be the only rule. Prowess Neues Jahr. Jene Jelinis Kutlu Olson. Sreshna Nova Godina. Didn't I already say that? Lamingo Nauju Metu. I'm absolutely horrible. Shoishli viego nu viego ruku. Well, isn't that what I already said? I think I pronounced it in Polish perfectly. What language is that of a pent pent where good tour? Or are you trying to? Write something in Norwegian. Pent var, god tur. Snowvam godam. Snowvam goddammit. Sinninan kwaibe? How to say it in Icelandic? Gotnir or ir? Probably. Akemashite umedetu gozaimasu. At least I know I did say it correctly in Norwegian and Swedish. Lokke snijer. Urteberi on. All languages except English is difficult languages. Especially if you try to pronounce anything in any language other than English while driving.
Urteberry on. That's Basque. What's Basque? Is that the in between France and and uh, Spain? Abhishek did what? Did I ignore you? Oh, in Nepal. Sorry, I didn't see that. Uh, hang on. Uh, Naya Barsa Kohardik Shub Kamla. <laughs> Nail it. As I said then, north. You could. I could have said northern Spain. I said in between. Fine, northern Spain then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't perfect, Abhishek. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you for lying. <laughs> right, moving on from Basconia. <laughs> it's getting way too detailed. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna try the uh, Happy New Year in different con in different languages again in forty five minutes. See who's here then. Maybe there's some people from other countries here then so maybe we can get it in in a couple more languages that I can completely murder I don't think that's Roman letters Richard but I also need new glasses <laughs> Uh, how do you say it in Vombatian? We don't have a, we don't use the term Happy New Year because Vombatia doesn't have, we don't use years. It's always the same year. Uh, we only have days, Monday to Sunday. Um, <laughs> damn it, I screwed that up. Uh, we don't have Mondays in Vombatia. We only have Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Anyway. Gilotsavt Akkalzels. Loki Schnier is from Scotland? Wales? Loki sounds kind of. Uh, sounds kind of Scottish to me. It probably isn't. Anyone? <laughs> the Mega Combo? I don't know what that is. Whoa! Wrong gear. Totally wrong gear. That's the right one. It's Frisian. Does anyone actually speak Frisian anymore? Like two people in the entire world who speak Frisian. Olaf and probably his wife. Uh, Franco, which city would that be? And also... Um, Uh, and also, uh, could you just post your phone number there in the in the chat, and I'll call you when we reach your city. Julie, me, 
Ukki Urta Samilu Piluartsi. You Google that, Richard. There's no way you're speaking uh, Greenlandic. That's cheating. Cordoba. Cordoba. Let's see. Uh... I'm pretty sure we're in Peru. From ben Buenos Aires. Uh, where's Buenos Aires? Uh, right. Uh, Cordoba. Where's Cordoba? Uh, I'm completely blind. Uh, guten Abend, Lumpy. Uh, Buenos Aires is there. I'm completely blind. I can't see Cordoba. Is that just me? Is it south or north of uh, Buenos Aires? Uh. Eagle, we do know that Pomzonia have been released, and I think that was more than an hour and 15 minutes ago. Uh, God damn it, lady sees it. Cordoba, I'm totally blind, am I not? I'm quite tempted to teleport there, but of course I can't do that. Uh, I think Cordoba is here. Uh, it's just that I can't see it. Where is it then, lady? Your city will be near Rosario. Uh, where's Rosario? There's Rosario. Uh. Oh, never mind. Up. Uh. <laughs> uh. Is it over here then? Why am I trying to find it? I will not be able to find it. North. Hmm. Maybe that's another city than 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 Cordoba we are looking for. If it's close to Rosario, uh, I guess you could see it. Well, do you, no, that's that's Corumba. That's not the same. That's not the one we're looking for. Yeah, near Brazil, I kind of guessed that. Comodoro. You know what? It. Screw it. <laughs> I could keep on doing that and keep on looking. I'm almost blind. There's a reason why I have glasses. I need stronger glasses, by the way. Let's just keep on going. Uh, we still have 9,100 kilometers to go. And um, maybe we go past Cordoba. I just couldn't find it. Cows. The meat they make here in Argentina is brilliant. I just love Argentinian meat restaurants.
I went to one in Germany. I, that was in, I think that was in München, in Munich. Uh, a Argentinian restaurant uh, ordered in 14 courses, all just different types of meat. Everything tasted just absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> Wonderful experience. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any Argentinian restaurants here in Stockholm. Ha! Left on the road to Chile. So we're not gonna go past Cordoba then. Because... Uh, you're from Munich, Prince. Well, it's been um, 10 years probably since I visited that restaurant in Munich. And uh, I hope it's still there. It definitely deserves to be there. I can't remember the name of the restaurant. I just remember how wonderful everything tasted, including the chicken. The chicken was brilliant as well. Asado. Uh, what's that? Is that also meat something? <laughs> you're, you're right, Richard. Next time I see a cow, I'll just floor it and drive over it and um, put it on my trailer. <laughs> bring the cow with me to uh, Venezuela and then eat it. It's roast beef. Every type of beef. Chicken, cow, pork. Nice. Sounds like something I would enjoy then. Problem incoming with next weight check? Why do you say that? I'm not sure there's going to be a problem. Well, as long as the roadkill is fresh and I killed it myself, uh, I'm, I'm fine with roadkill. Especially if it's a cow. I mean, raccoons, I still wouldn't eat them, even if I killed them myself. But a cow, sure, I could eat that. Yeah, I think it's the same in India, Prince. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get away with it <laughs> in India either. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to try to kill any cows there. Kind of, is that a repair shop? The icon, hang on, I'm gonna have a quick look at the map. The icon looks weird. No, it is a workshop. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull over here and just do a quick repair of the truck. Why not do the repairs? Uh, 
uh, without engine malfunction. Uh, I could do 100% damage without engine malfunction, depending on what kind of problem I have. I'm mostly curious. Uh, let's see, tire wear. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're not going to do the tire wear. 4% cabin, 5% chassis, transmission, engine. We could keep on going for quite a long time. I keep the I keep the wheel uh, damage in there or tire wear in there. So see, still 26%. And uh, but it's not going to affect the engine or anything. It still looks like we have a lot of damage, but we don't. If I watch football, uh, sure, I saw a football once. Uh, it was round. Uh, I actually kicked it. Uh, no, I don't watch football. I I watch Formula One, and that's my sports story Toby thank you very very much for being here uh, happy new year to you and uh, I look forward to seeing you again in 2021 see how long we can keep this going because I'm starting to cough more and more water helps less and less I might not be able to keep <clears throat> to keep this going for I'm pretty sure I won't be able to keep it going for another two and a half hours <laughs> uh, you know Prince it's, it's the same in most countries probably in Europe Probably 50% of the population here in Sweden just loves football. I like motorsports. If there's not an engine involved, I don't really care. Uh, why, why, why don't I watch truck races? Have you watched truck races? They do send the... Uh, they do have the... Um, they are live streaming some of the truck races. It looks kind of fun for the first five minutes and then it gets kind of boring. Uh, in my opinion at least. I don't want I don't watch ice hockey either especially when it's only the uh, junior team <laughs> I'm such a bore <laughs> I, I don't watch anything except Formula One and maybe on occasion some other racing uh, other than that I'm not into sports I think my body states that pretty obviously that I'm not a huge fan of any types of sports. I do kind of I I kind of like watching tractor pulling as well for like 5 to 10 minutes before I get bored. Formula 2 uh colored Sure, that's okay. I can probably watch 30 minutes of Formula 2 before I give up on it. Ivan! You have some you have some quests for me? <laughs> I might accept them. Depends on what the quest is. 
Slatan Ibrahimovic Prince. Never heard of him. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> even I have heard. Even I know exactly who Slatan is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's kind of difficult not knowing who the most famous sportsman of Sweden is. <laughs> Uh, I think everyone loves him. <laughs> Challenge not accepted, Ivan. <laughs> I stated that yesterday. <laughs> Over time there will be more, but I'm taking a break from uh, map combos. Um, for your sake, to be honest. <laughs> But um, I'll be back doing more of them in the future. Next convoy, uh, Barry, uh, February, March, sometime late February, perhaps early March. Uh, we haven't actually started planning it yet. Uh, my bad, we should have started. Uh, but... Um, We'll start planning that in January. Get it out there. The most important thing is to get 100 people to sign up as soon as we announce it. If we can do that, uh, the planning part of it isn't uh, taking me a ton of time. Uh, we just have to find the dates for it. Around the 1st of March. We'll get it done. Uh, Greenland will be much bigger soon. Uh, I was kind of hoping for more than just one city. Uh, I'm glad it's a first version out already, of course. But I'm really more interested in seeing what Greenland will look like when we have at least two cities there. Because I rel there are no roads between the cities. So what I'm most curious about is how that is going to be represented on the map. Uh, will he add ferries or will he actually add some ice roads or something to it? Uh, I'm not sure anyone is using uh, cars to go between the cities driving over ice, but I mean, we could do that in-game, perhaps. It would be safe. Uh, bonjour, is what I understand. Uh, et bon année 2021. Um, Happy New Year, probably. And in that case, thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. <laughs> That's a lot of famous people. PewDiePie, Slaughter, and, and, and sure, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, how to read <laughs> game.log files maybe I could do a video on that uh, maybe if I understand the game logs good enough because I can read them when it comes to map mods but I'm I never really well, maybe. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Thank you, Eggman. So, hello from France and Happy New Year 2021. In any case, same to you. You be safe. Uh, roads on mountains. Did he actually say that about the Greenland map? That he would create roads in the mountains? Uh, it's going to be fictional regardless. So it doesn't really matter if it's how he it does it. Uh, it's, it's still going to be fiction. Uh, since, you do, since you don't have any roads in Greenland other than in the cities. 
from what I understand, there's literally less than 1,000 cars in Greenland. Yes, Prince, there is absolutely a new DLC coming for ETS2. It's called Iberia. We'll have Spain and Portugal during the first quarter of next year. Or this year, depending on where in the world you are. Um, and then the next big thing will be Russia. Hopefully, at least covering... Well, let's see what happens, because maybe they won't cover the roads all the way to Moscow. Maybe Moscow won't even be included. Stress banana! Welcome! Richard, that's just a horrible joke. <laughs> Paknuta, welcome! <laughs> Two and a half hours to go, Paknuta. Uh, we are still in Argentina, Ivan. We're definitely on EAA. And we're only 8,800 kilometers from our destination. And I'm speeding. I need to slow down a little. Uh, Pledi Amaro 90, Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you. Eggman? <laughs> I don't think anyone would laugh harder than me if they did that. It's not going to happen, but... <laughs> what are you talking about, Prince? You forget me saying I'm from Munich a month ago. A moment ago. No, I'm mad with one, but what did I do? Uh, Paula, Happy New Year to you as well, and thank you for being here. Uh, I don't know where you are, Paula. I'm guessing somewhere here in Europe, of course. Maybe you two are two hours and 20 minutes from the New Year. Maybe you're closer to the New Year than that. Uh, Jeff Jefferson, uh, I'm showing the entire load uh, order of the map mods and all the mods I'm using in yesterday's uh, five minutes or so of the live stream. So if you go back and look at yesterday's live stream, the five last minutes of it, you'll find all of it there. Other than that, you can also find the mods I'm using in the video description, uh, both of today's live stream and yesterday's live stream. Um, uh, Paknut, I'm not going to change anything to warp 0 0.8 because I'm using uh, Truckbook. I'm trying to record this entire haul into Truckbook. So uh, using warp 0 0.8 means that uh, it won't be registered. So I'm not going to change it. But I do recommend, unless you are using Truckbook, to change it to warp 0 0.8 because that feels way more natural. Uh, I, I even EAA 6.0 is just more of South America. It's not a new version uh, when it comes to the roads you already had there. So everything still looks the same. It's just that there's more of South America on 6.0. Noel B. I love you. Thank you very much for becoming a member on YouTube. Really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Not sure about the FPS part of it, Perknuta, but I do agree that it feels more uh, more realistic. I just wish that <clears throat> that uh, trucks book could handle it. Uh, it's no, it's not disqualified Thanos, but you could be uh, flagged for racing if you exceed 100 kilometers per hour, which I kind of forgot about. F 
for a few seconds back there when I was doing 120. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but sure, yeah, I was doing 120 there for like 30 seconds. Wonderful. This will then be flagged as a race. <coughs> Crap. Uh, Ivan, I'm... <laughs> you know what? It's, it's New Year's Eve. Let's have a look at my graphic settings. No. My graphic settings, Ivan, you'll find my video on the graphic settings in the video description. Because... <laughs> My scaling is set to 100%. In reality, though, it's set to 500, uh, sorry, 400%. But I'm using NVIDIA uh, Profile Inspector for that. Uh, and the reason I'm using Profile Inspector, well, that'll be clearer if you watch my video on, on, uh, on the graphics. Uh, my graphic settings, though, they do require an NVIDIA card. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, you can't use them. Uh, CJ, warp means uh, how fast you're going uh, in-game uh, compared to how it sh should work, so to speak. Uh, so, warp 1 means the... Um, the speed you have in game when you play the game as normal. Uh, what I do when I test map combos, for instance, quite often, is that I change the warp to five, which means that I will go five times faster in game than I would do normally. So if I'm doing then 50 kilometers an hour in game, but at warp five, I'm covering five times as much roads in the same amount of time that I would do if I had warp 5 and doing 50 kilometers an hour. Now if you instead go down and change it to 0 0.8 when you do 80 kilometers an hour your speedometer will say you do 80 kilometers an hour but it will feel more like you're doing 65. Uh, so that's warp. Uh, if you use warp with truck book it doesn't register. Uh, I can't remember what it says about it. It, it, it can't register it anyway. What the X stands for? Never thought of that, Thanos. I have no idea what it stands for. Uh... What does RT stands for? I never thought of that, Thanos. <laughs> uh, do I trim my beard exterior? No, I've decided to go all Viking with it this time. I don't trim it. Uh, I do wash it, of course. And I do um, uh, brush it, but I'm not going to trim it. Ray tracing experience? I don't know. Uh, above everything else, Ivan, uh, I personally think that it is on par with natural looks, but even more importantly, the graphic settings that I'm using works regardless of which map mod you are using or regardless of whatever other mods you're using. Uh, and using my graphic settings do not exclude natural looks in any way. You can use natural looks and the graphic settings that I'm using if you like. Uh, we are currently still in Argentine. Uh, not for long, though.
Malaysia. <laughs> It's a quarter to ten. It's two hours and fifteen minutes left until we are in 2021 here. Now let's have a look at the map. So there we are. <laughs> ah, Shivilkoi coming up. Buenos Aires is coming up. There's Rosario again. I still can't find the city you guys were talking about uh it's so frustrating i'm so blind uh doesn't matter who cares uh we still have 8600 kilometers to go we will definitely reach the 8000 kilometer mark today because i'm gonna continue on for at least 600 more kilometers and there up there is moron and of course, this is going to be fun, not taking the ferry, using this hidden road instead. You hear the rockets? Uh, the firecrackers? The fireworks? I don't know if you can hear them. I can definitely hear them. Uh, but still another 8,600 kilometers to go. Why I haven't crashed Thanos? <laughs> oh my god, I haven't crashed. Uh, the perfectly horizontal roads exterior is just the fact that UK have a different scaling than the rest of the world. And that is causing that perfect line there. And there's nothing we can do about it. Um, but it's just on the map, it doesn't affect gameplay in any way, it doesn't, it isn't actually a road that goes 90 degree to the, to the right and then you go in a straight line. Uh, once you get up, once you get past the, let's just call it the equator line uh, of ETS2. We already did hands off the wheel Thanos and I did that for literally a minute earlier. We're past that. Moving on. It's too bad it's getting dark so early on EAA. It's not even 7 o'clock in the evening. <coughs> Excuse me. You could say that, Experience. Yes, it's not a big unknown because that hidden road we're going to take up there. Uh, I've actually done a video on it. It's a brilliant road. You should try it out. Um, okay, fine. 20 seconds. Three. Ten. Oops. 18, 19. There we are, 20 seconds, see? Well, we will have a crash unless I... Well, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do a chicken race. I didn't sneeze, I coughed. <laughs> and you need to be nicer to me because I have COVID-19, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, Ross for 139 Ivan it's the same map just a um, compatibility update but Sergey 061 the guy one of the guys behind Ross map and the guy who have made most of the new roads you see today on Ross map 
for both 137, 138 and 139, he had started a rescale project of ROS. So there will be a new version of ROS out sometime during 2021 on the 1 to 19 scale and it will look, perhaps with the exception of the cities, the roads definitely will look completely different from the roads, uh, roads we have today. Uh, so there's something to really look forward to in 2021. If I can do a what, Thanos? A toilet stream? No. Never. What kind of question is that? There's something very, very wrong with you, Thanos. Uh, yeah, we will finally get the version of Ross we should have had. Hang on. I'm gonna just... No, I have the front auxiliary and roof auxiliaries up already. Uh, we'll finally get the Ross we should have had a very long time ago. Playing ETS2 on toilet stream. Who said I'm not in the toilet already? How do you know I'm not sitting on the toilet? How do you know I have pants? Maybe I do have pants. Maybe I don't. Xperior, uh, you're out of here. You're doing the right thing. Uh, stay safe, my friend. Uh, you're off your work and you're going to another job. Oops. Uh, that's a lot of information, Xperior. Um, sorry you have to work. Uh, Happy New Year to you. And thank you for being here. I hope to see you again next year, 2021. I can guarantee 2021 is going to be a much, much better year than 2020 ever was. So uh, there's that, of course. Thank you for being here, buddy. Have a great evening and night, I guess, since you're going to work. Stand up for 10 seconds. I can't do that, Pack Newt, because I don't have any pants. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> uh, now, the only reason I'm not going to stand up, well, there are two reasons. Uh, I have to move a lot of things around. Um, <coughs> if I do, I will notice that my body is quite tired now. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to feel that. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to know how my body is doing right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanos, if I let you remotely drive my truck, I know exactly what you're gonna do. You're just gonna do a hard left. So, no, hell no. Wow, Fred, your doctor told you they have a vaccine for you already. I'm pretty sure that's going to make you the very, very first one, not only on this live stream, but all my live streams uh, combined to actually... Hang on. We're going in this direction to actually get the vaccine. Congratulations, if that's the case. <laughs> uh, hang on. Here's one of the few things that scares me about COVID-19. Breathing is difficult sometimes. There's no reason for any panic, but I'm having a little difficulty breathing, so I'm just gonna... Let's see if that helps. Ah, 
That's one of the reasons I should have stopped doing this an hour ago. <laughs> um, but we keep on going for a little bit longer. Call it lonely. Don't. don't it's okay. It's okay. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> I didn't say that to scare you. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely pos you know, possible to have COVID-19 a second time, uh, Thanos. Uh, the most f <laughs> famous uh, case known was a 101-year-old, I can't remember if it was a woman or a man, who had confirmed COVID-19, survived, and then got it again a second time, also confirmed, and survived. Um... Uh, and and the uh, antibodies you develop, they only last for a period of time. Uh, looks like it can be anything from two months to six months to perhaps a year even. Uh, I don't think the scientists really know yet. <laughs> Probably women, men don't want to live for 101 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the married man. <laughs> the married man doesn't want to live for 101 years. <laughs> uh, Prince, I love you too, and, and that's the reason why I'm doing this, because I both love driving, of course, but I also love doing it live. Uh, together with you, I find that quite amusing. Uh, I have kind of, I almost have like, uh, uh, what is it, when you, um, it's almost like an addiction. So if I'm unable to live stream during the summer, for instance, for two weeks, I'm almost uh, having these, um, uh, I totally lost the word. Uh, well, urges and oh my god, I need to refuel. Why didn't you say anything? You didn't say anything. Yeah, I, I'm. I had plenty of fuel, so fine. But still, oh seriously, you can't see I'm backing up here. Come on. Uh, the video on the graphics is made 10 months ago, Ivan. Yes, but... Withdrawal symptom, that's the word. Uh, but, as I say in that video, check out the link in the video description to uh, the Roex forum page uh, by Bang & Jay on graphic settings because <clears throat> the, the, the settings have changed quite a lot since I made the video and they are changed on a regular basis. Uh both because we find new settings but also because newer versions of the graphics mods uh, sorry graphics drivers uh, require us to make changes to the settings and also the game sometimes require us to make changes so not only do you need to set it up uh, according to how it's done on the um, on the forum page but you need to check in on a regular basis to see if there are anything new there, especially when you update your graphics drivers. <laughs> because you're busy loving me, that's why you did that. <laughs> I forgot to rest as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, I should really stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know what? I'm just gonna uh, six o'clock in the morning instead because it's still dark at five. There we go. Okay, maybe five thirty next time. <laughs> I go in there to rest. Realize I have no fuel, so I refuel, forget to rest, and I'm back on the road. Wow. Storm Gaming official Twitch, uh, thank you very much. Uh, happy New Year on you as well, and uh, <laughs> bleep 2020 for sure. Now you need to start being nice to goldfish, then so do I, of course. They actually do have better memory than I have. Uh, my memory is pretty horrible. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's Buenos Aires. It is pretty big. As it should be. <laughs> Beautiful morning here in Buenos Aires. Looks like the air is almost breathable here today. I'm so happy there's not an autopilot in either ATS or ETS2. God, that would be boring. Why would you? Fair point, Thanos. Oh! Uh, that is something that shouldn't be too difficult for SCS to implement. Deactivating the trailer steering. How difficult could that possibly be? Well, are you actually able to play the game in 4K on that TV, Prince? I still have that on my to-do list to at least test it, putting it up on my TV instead. I've, I've actually gone... Uh, I've actually watched a little bit of my own live streams on my TV because I have a 75-inch 4K TV uh, just to see what it looks like. And it kind of looks badass being able to play on a 74-inch screen. Valskrokapo! Thank you very much, and Happy New Year to you as well. Uh, Valskrokapo, I assume you're in Norway. Um, I hope 
they have found the um, remaining people uh, after that horrible accident you had there in Norway yesterday. Uh, Thanos, let me just... Did you find that on Wish? Because a PC with a 10900K and a 3090 cheaper than just a 3019 doesn't really sound like something you can actually do. Uh, if it's sound too good to be true, it usually is too good to be true. I'm not sure it's an actual 10 900k and an actual 3090 they're selling there. Just connect my PC with a t to the TV. Sure, I do have a PC actually connected to my my TV. The thing is, my gaming PC isn't anywhere close to the PC, so I'm gonna need a probably five meter long HDMI cable and well, a completely new setup, I guess. Some very, very long USB cables, perhaps, to my steering wheel and my keyboard. PC part picker. Uh, never heard of them. Uh, not a full man. I'm definitely in uh, Stockholm. I think I'm in Stockholm. I woke up in Stockholm, at least. I should still be in Stockholm. Concordia! That's kind of true, Thanos, because I do live in a brick house. So... <laughs> Did I escape Vumbatia? I always carry Vumbatia with me in my heart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm getting tired. You know, guys, I'm pretty sure I won't make it uh, till midnight. I will not be hauling for another two hours. Um, If I hadn't had COVID-19, I could easily have kept on going for another four hours. Wouldn't have been a problem whatsoever. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I think we need to find somewhere where I can park up my truck and... Um, we can keep on going tomorrow again instead. It's just how it is. Uh, let's have a look at the map, see where we could end this. Uh, probably there. Uh, so that's where we're going to end this thing for today. Well, go on then. Finally. Whoa. That was close. I look foggy. <laughs> Fog you. <laughs> I'm not, uh, you know, 
<laughs> you come to a point where you start feeling weird. Um, my body, <laughs> for real, it, it, it's, it's starting to feel kind of weird, so... Wow, that's a nice bridge. Look at that. Holy. Are there any bridge prefabs that I didn't use for this? <laughs> Fake what, Cola? Fake bridge? <laughs> I'm losing this race. Come on! Ouch. Damn it, he was faster than me. Uh, Prince, there will definitely be a live stream tomorrow. I just need some some rests. That's all. It's uh, it's not like I'm not going to be able to do a live stream tomorrow again. I just need to uh, just need to rest a little. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Thanos, but, you know, we, we're all gonna die sometime, but I have no intentions of dying next year, or the year after, for that matter. Uh, I'm not gonna die, I just need some rest. That's all. Jurgen deaths are never better than Scania's, but they might be, on a good day, they are on par with Scania's. And besides, look at this. There he is. And I'm not speeding. I'm allowed to do 110 there. I'm only doing 100. Uh, we could quite well make it to the Hidden Rod tomorrow, yes. Bye-bye, Daff! See? That's why you choose a... Um, proper Scania instead. Brian Bay, 1999, good evening to you and Happy New Year. <laughs> Mini Fridge Gaming, welcome back <laughs> to the last few minutes uh, of today's live stream. Uh, we're about to end it. There's a gas station and rest area coming up, and that's where we're gonna end it. Don Carlo Silva. First time you got me online when I'm online. I'll thank you for being here, and happy new year to you. <laughs> 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 uh, do I also stop? Wait, what? Also stop with the map cover videos? What else did I stop with? Uh, I'm taking a break from the map combo videos, yes, but that's the only thing I'm doing. I'm not stopping doing them, and there's nothing else I'm stopping doing. Uh, mini fridge, we're gonna continue again tomorrow. So there's there's plenty of times to um, to to uh, see more of the hall, um, but you better beat it tomorrow because we only have eight thousand kilometers left. Uh, Thunderholst, thank you very much for being here, buddy. Uh, Happy New Year to you as well, and I see you again next year.
<laughs> well, Brian, it might take a while. Not necessarily a long time, but it will take a while. Um, but, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, 1440p, Marco, no, it's been a while since I uh, dropped that. Uh, I'm doing restreams now to both Twitch and to YouTube. So for that reason, 1080p is all you can do. Um, I tried doing 1040, sorry, 1440p on on, um, on Twitch, and it worked for a while, uh, say for the first hour of the live streams, and then it just died. So I I scaled it down to just 1080 instead. And that has been working perfectly. Let's see, Prince, if we make it to the hidden road tomorrow. Make and say thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Um, Colored, you have a very relaxed and quiet evening yourself. Uh, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Happy New Year to you. Feet there yet? Did I go past the gas station? No, I didn't. There it is. It was further than I thought it would be. <coughs> uh, quite possibly, these road assets are used on Grand Utopia as well in some places. Barry, I'm really looking forward to taking a look at those pictures. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, Prince. Thank you, Richard. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. There's the gas station. There's where we're ending. There it is. Now all I need... Uh, is a new picture for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, guys, uh, here in Sweden it's 1 hour and 39 minutes until New Year. I'll probably be sleeping <laughs> when we uh, enter 2021. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for making this a, despite COVID-19, despite 2020 being 2020, thank you so much for everything you've done for me, for being here during my live streams, watching my videos, giving me thumbs up and likes and subscriptions and followings and all of that. Thank you so much, everyone. And I really look forward to continuing this tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central European time. It's probably going to be the time we're starting. And I hope to see all of you again then. Uh, happy New Year, everyone, and good night.